Hello and welcome everybody. How are you doing? Oh, we're gonna have a game today with um, CPL from CPL Premier with Escape Pozel going against Led Reeves. We did see the boys from Led Reeves the last time, and I do believe uh, they uh, did learn quite a few lessons. Let's see Escape Pozel this time. Uh, they did actually give me a logo, but I, I was already um, up with my animation, so I didn't actually uh, get it over there in the virtual screen. But uh, next time, next time. I'm gonna to have it i do want to say that uh, we're still waiting for them to actually join the lobby over here it might actually take a little bit of time uh, for them to get in so uh, yeah they're fixing mods that are uh, uh, subscribing and uh, subscribing and doing uh, stuff like that now uh, we could do something because i was thinking you know why we might as well talk a little bit about the upcoming uh, games that uh, are um uh, during this week uh, especially about uh, the cwc uh, we do have um uh, forever young versus 12 plus tomorrow in the first game of the playoffs over here um uh, they will have a best of three series to play and uh, they do have already scheduled three games possibly three games if of course uh, we're gonna have a tie they're gonna go for the third game if they do not have a tie it's gonna be um uh, the team winning uh, going forward in the upper bracket with the team losing going uh, in the lower bracket. We do have um, a very early time over here. Civ Australia versus Holiday on Highlands, uh, 1600 GMT. That's going to be on Friday. And also on Friday, we're going to have Fritos de la Vega versus uh, Goldbine Library. And Forever Young versus 12 plus uh, the second game on uh, 1800 GMT. Both of them. Um, early in the morning on Saturday, it's going to be Civ Australia versus Holiday on Highlands. Game, second game over there and uh, later on in the afternoon we're gonna have uh, two games with a change of circumstance versus Ulysse game one and Fretos de la Vega versus Gold by Library game two. Uh, in um, su on Sunday we do have also quite a few games over here getting scheduled with Civ uh, Australia playing their third game possibly going against Holiday on Highlands um, and change of circumstance versus Ulysses did set up two games in the same day on Sunday we're gonna have uh, them game two and game three game two started up at uh, 1200 GMT and uh, game three at uh, 1800 GMT now we also have um, one of the last games uh, of the week of Fredo de la Vega versus uh, Gold by library on um, um, 1800 GMT uh, the third game and last but not least the third game of forever young versus 12 plus um, at 1800 GMT. Uh, you're going to get updates um, on the website by the way, sif6worldcup.com uh, uh, to actually uh, see who, what kind of games are getting played uh, today or uh, on each day. Uh, you're going to have an announcement over here uh, right below playing today and uh, they're going to be updated uh, as uh, possible. As, uh, as soon as you switch the day, it's going to be updated. Of course, uh, depending on GMT. And I do want to point out, if you take a look at the results page, you're going to see the full bracket. Um, so first of all, you go to tournament and then you go to um, uh, sorry not this uh, results check the results and uh, you're gonna have the final stage uh, shown up over here with um, the upper bracket uh, that everybody got in or eight, eight teams and uh, that are gonna be of course uh, split into um, uh, four and four after the first results upper bracket and a lower bracket there are still quite a few weeks uh, to go for the cwc and uh, we're going to need to see exactly who is going to snatch that victory i see uh, they're still uh, getting in they're still getting in and uh varia queen is asking for uh, extended policy cards i'm not sure if they do care or not but it is what it is um woo, 12 months indeed Dang, 12 months <laughs> you know it's good when you lose all concept of time passing i've been eight thank you so much for the um, the sub much appreciated say uh, much appreciated for the 12 months also good afternoon uh, linda and welcome Moonstrat. good evening sir, and welcome welcome is that a bracket there yeah. yes yes uh, we do have a bracket over there also uh, let me actually take a look big z hello there sir and uh, thank you so much thank you so much for uh, the sub over there for the resub much appreciated sir good and up on uh, closing and uh, i do hope uh, you're gonna have a good time with us i did also notice hi nick dave hello there sir good morning good morning i did uh, want to point out that um yes you do have um how to say um your um, uh, icons over there and next where you send a message next to uh, sending a message on the left side you have a chat identity button and you can just uh, click on it and you're going to have the available uh, options uh, for you over there it should be quite easy to actually find and um, switch if you need to switch the icon there are actually some extra icons that i never understood exactly why they're being put over there like listening only or uh, watching without audio or something like that it's uh, i don't know i find it kind of weird kind of weird 
<laughs> Hello there, uh, rambling man. How are you doing, sir? Uh, today, I hope you're fine. And uh, I do hope uh, you, uh, we'll have a good time with us uh, today to just uh, keep on going, having a great day. Uh, also, Star Speggy, bună seara, domnule, bine ai venit. Uh, Yorkshire Brit, hello, hello there, sir. How are you doing? I did also uh, notice... Uh, Heinick Dave did get back on the hill over there, picking up, snatching that first promotion. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Twitch Mobile has that option to also uh, to listen only to audio. Well, yes, but uh, for some reason it's actually over here. Like I can actually switch uh, the tag that I have. That's uh, that's what's confusing me. I can switch my own tag uh, to uh, uh, to this, for example. Let me let me. Uh, there we go so for for some reason i'm watching without audio and this is like this is what is confusing me but anyway it, it's fine it's fine uh, we got this going and uh, i have no idea why twitchcon 2022 on amsterdam i i got a flower why do i get a flower there it it seems like uh, shouldn't this be like more uh how to say um uh whatever it is what it is um Neutral, neutral. That's what I wanted to say. Neutral. A flower is not neutral. I, I or at least in my mind, a flower is not neutral. So I, I find it extremely unlikely that people will actually uh, get to use that icon. But whatever it is, what it is. Um, uh, also, have you seen how many, oh my god, how many emotes uh, we have over here? Unbelievable. Not only mine, that we have when talking about emotes. We got Ensasu joining us. Bonjour, monsieur. Bienvenue. Like, I, I tried to uh, write uh, hype, right? It should actually prioritize my hype. And uh, for some reason, I get, like, so many other hypes. Instead of uh, it prioritizing my own emotes, how, how is this possible? And why is this not happening? I should actually send a, a message to their support. Like, can you please, like, make a priority stuff over there? Uh, for our things uh, you know like for each of uh, the streamer things anyway or most used that would also be uh, helpful sorry uh, that would also be extremely helpful um, most used uh, channel emotes right exactly right should get the highest priority i don't get it man i don't get it it's so weird um and i'm pretty sure when you're talking about uh, viewers uh, i'm pretty sure it would be just much easier to just have uh, top priority on uh, the emotes that you most likely uh, you have used in like the past month or so uh, and it would make it so much more easier to actually find uh, exactly what you want instead of just scrolling through like when I, I got like it's insane i have like i don't know 30 uh, something like i write hype and boom i got like 30 options over here or more than 30 options uh, how, how, how do they want me to find something like that it takes me like five minutes to just scroll through this and then uh, find something that i actually want to I, it's weird anyway um that, that's about with the rant right uh morty in our channel yes we can drag morty in our channel yes yes uh where is uh where is uh mr morty uh where is morty i need to find him where is oh i see him i see him uh Found them, found them, found them, and let's do it. There we go. Beep, 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 boom. Bow. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Uh, scrolling through all words, remember the keyword for them. Exactly. And uh, I guess uh, that's another. Uh, uh, that's another thing that uh, I wanted to. Uh, uh, ask you i was uh, thinking maybe on spot it's a bit too much maybe i should actually put something like os uh, which yeah <laughs> might cause a few issues you know uh, os hype os uh, something maybe i should uh, sh uh, change the short code uh, so it's uh, much more easier to find much more easier to write i don't know if it is available for me but i guess i can i can try it out i don't know if they have like a minimum amount of uh, things that you can uh, write over there uh, on spot is fine. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, on spot hype. On spot. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it, it does kind of make sense with uh, the words, right? They, they, almost all of them uh, <laughs> do have do link together pretty nicely with the name. It is what it is, man. Okay, so we do have uh, the players uh, in the lobby over here, and it looks like we're gonna have uh, Team Ledo Reeves um, pick, getting the first pick, and at uh, the same time uh, also hosting the game uh, with uh, Mind Blow IPO. We got Morty and we got Grossbill coming up uh, today for them. And on the other side, we do, we do have on uh, Escape Puzzle um, Dart, Fadia Quinn, a Serious Man, and the uh, Siwi uh, Twenty Seven. I did receive a message earlier telling me exactly what uh, Escape Puzzle mean uh, means. Uh, let me actually see. It means settler. It's it means a settler. A puzzle means settler. So it's basically escape 
<laughs> Escape Settler. That's who their team name over here. Okay, got it. Got it. Good. So we got the Escape Settlers going against uh, the two. Uh, Oh my god, I um the two banks, the two banks, because uh, Le Do Reeves is basically like the banks of a river or something like that. Easier to remember, got it, got it, okay, okay. I mean, it's good that I don't actually need to change anything, you know, it was extra work. Kicked <laughs> up, it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna need to have uh, the pre-bands and I uh, understand it is a one to one to order. Uh, we're uh, gonna need to take a look um, what they're gonna write over here in the, the chat. I hope everything is fine and you guys uh, get to see the image uh, properly. It should be fine, okay, it is fine. I'm just waiting for the players uh, to make up their minds and i believe it is a uh, mind blow or uh, at least one of the team members of um, one of the members of uh, escape pose um Le de reeves, Le de reeves uh, getting this done this is what it is oh man I need to get a cup of something, uh, like a cup to actually put some juice, uh, but not right now. I totally uh, got to forget this. Yeah, where do they do the pre-bands? In here, in here, in the, in the text. Uh, so, Shaka, it looks like uh, we're gonna have actually Zulu uh, being a pre-band. Interesting. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, then we do have Maori getting banned by serious man so okay okay shaka and maori uh interesting that they actually took out uh, shaka so early on uh, i'm thinking maybe uh, with this uh, they're gonna try to aim for one of those uh, land maps uh, rather than go for something more uh, navally prone and they do have uh, quite a few maps uh, to go and pick and ban so you know a lot of options for them uh, to uh, go there uh, okay oh it's one two two one or one two one two it, it is what it is uh, I have no idea actually how this is. Uh, in previous games, we did have a uh, one to one two. In this, I don't know. Let me see. Technical demands, but uh, uh, technical stamps. Uh, only map token. I'm trying to read through uh, the rules that were implemented. Yeah, for season 2.5, uh, unlimited subs, any official roster change, any map pool, no auto bastard, 10 any map vote, bracket playoff for four teams, or wonders are enabled. Uh, okay. Uh, each team makes an extra two sieve bands in chat before the map team one first. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So it's uh, team one, team two, team one, team two. Okay, got it. Uh, it looks like, uh, well, they didn't actually do this uh, in that order, but it is what it is. It's Khmer and Moban, they're getting banned over here. And uh, we did have uh, the unbinding uh, this week of Movember. Uh, they can actually pick it in the games if they want to. So uh, there we go. The full list is here. We got Shaka, Maori, Khmer, and Mobande. That's the Congo leader. Uh, um, that was implemented with um, uh, the leader pass uh, recent well recently you know in this year this year it was implemented this year uh, we do have uh, in the map pool choices looks like uh, they're starting to ban uh, through the maps in and see pangea uh, terra map and highlands uh, being the next ones and and uh, we do need to see if uh, and how this is gonna go. Uh, we did have uh, Moonsdrath over here hoping for a long game, so we might actually have that. It's a choice between Seven Seas and Highlands, and I'm pretty sure uh, both, maps are, um, both maps are actually quite big. Uh, Seven Seas does have uh, that option that, of course, you might actually spawn coastally against somebody with uh, like uh, two civilizations fighting each other, and uh, one might win over, each, uh, over the other at the caravel timing, which might make the game a little bit shorter. Uh, but on Highlands, uh, that's um, a very uh, that's a very unlikely possibility it looks like uh, they're running down the clock over here to choose between them and it is gonna be a long game monstrath is correct over here we do have highlands being chosen oh man oh man okay highland enjoyers guys we got highland enjoyers so let's actually um uh, write it down over here in uh, on the screen on the screen uh, let's see hi lands okay highlands it is what it is man we got we got a long game we got a long game and so uh, just to make a quick introduction for uh, anybody that is new to um, the stream and of course anybody that uh, didn't uh, actually see uh, games being played out on highlands highlands is a uh, quite a big big map with a few uh, inland seas in between uh, some of the seas are connected but very few uh, extremely extremely uh, low chance of that happening there are a lot of hills uh, there are there is a lot of land to uh, actually cover and um, discover and 
and at the same time um, try to uh, colonize. We will see uh, the teams uh, trying as much as possible to get uh, a decent amount of series going. Usually it's between like uh, 7 and 12. We've seen actually some players go for more than that, uh, going for uh, 14 series before they actually go to war against anybody else. Uh, there's a decent amount of distance between you and your opponent. Now on this map, the players uh, do want to um, uh, go for um, um, some coastal civilizations, some naval civilizations, just because they do want to have a strong economy. And of course, them uh, being more prone to actually um, uh, get uh, spawned on those inland seas uh, and uh, able to actually get the harbors much faster and so on and so forth. Maybe there's going to be a possibility for them to trade coastally at some point, like set up some coastal trade routes with uh, their allies. Uh, they're going to actually generate that economy for... Um, uh, their team, allowing them to use that gold into buying tiles, uh, upgrading units, up upkeeping units, and uh, so on, which is actually quite a uh, flexible option, makes uh, the team a lot more flexible when it comes to having options in the game. We do have in the active ban phase over here also Mapuche uh, coming up first, uh, Age of Steam, uh, Victoria, we do have, uh, looks like Ethiopia and Kree got banned uh, with uh, two more civilizations uh, going forward uh, that need to be banned, and then we're going to have the pick. Um, usually also on this map you're going to see the players um, uh, try to go for civilizations that uh, will uh, be prone to simming so for example like Scotland uh, we're gonna of course Cree, Rome uh, Russia we might actually see the Koreas, for example, um, getting in uh, so they can get a lot of stats from their abilities of um, uh, generating those uh, science points and the culture points uh, through the cities and uh, their half cost uh, districts and so on. Uh, now, uh, at the same time, uh, it's uh, not unusual to actually see at least one or two griefers on the map, especially Mapuche, for example, is well known for the griefing abilities. And I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons that it got banned over here because they just didn't want to handle those uh, Malon Raiders. I don't have to point out, anybody can actually be a little bit of... Um, um of a griefer when it comes to um, the course of timing and of course if you do couple that uh, but you have to prepare quite a bit for it if you do couple that with um, uh, maybe some uh, terracotta army to get uh, already the first promotions on your um, courses you do need to get to the second one so you can just pillage and pillage and pillage um, you do manage to do uh, you do manage to do a lot of damage uh, against your opponent cities and maybe uh, like um, um, take a few of them away from him force him to build an army um, get some uh, pillages off him so uh, yeah there the can be that happening at the same time we've seen uh, a lot of um We've seen the last two bands. Looks like uh, Spain is going to be taken down and the hunger is going to also be taken down. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay, there we go. It's not Alexander. It's actually Lincoln. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, Mindblow is going to go for Sejong. We do have a serious band going for Alexander here and uh, see we with IPO coming up next. Uh, we do need to see uh, what they're going to pick here with uh, Mindblow benefiting from uh, Korea. And uh, well, you do know those cell ones, uh, how much science they can generate. Not to mention, he's going to get the extra um, uh, culture. When he completes the first technology from uh, era, you do receive the, um, a science per turn as a culture. So you can imagine he wants to get as many of those points as possible. It uh, still benefits from that uh, unique unit, the Hawacha, which is uh, well known for destroying opponent cities and units everywhere. Uh, we do have a serious man going for Lincoln, which is extremely well known for its production capabilities. But I gotta say, I'm a bit surprised about this. I was thinking more about the lines like Teddy Roughrider than actually Lincoln. Uh, we're going to need to see if it does shine I, from um, the experience we've actually had uh, it does seem like it uh, is a little bit slower when it comes to the tempo uh, of its stats yes it does have a lot of production yes uh, mid to late game it actually can do quite well but other than that it might actually be um, lower in tempo than others hey what's <laughs> up thank you so much madam. how are you doing Oh my god, 18 months. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, I don't know why it didn't actually uh, TTS this. Like, why, why didn't it TTS? I have no idea. Did I click on something wrong over here? I, I hope not. I really hope not. I hope everything works. Uh, anyway, uh, we do have uh, Canada coming up um, as a ban. And it looks like in the two sieves uh, that they do, did need to pick it... Um, 
Scotland, it's Scotland and the Chandra Gupta arriving over here. Interesting that they banned Chandra, but they didn't ban Chandra Gupta. This might actually come back to haunt them. Uh, we do have uh, Gorgo also coming up over here. Um, Greece Gorgo has um, well be has multiple times actually applied a lot of pressure against their opponents and did quite well successfully taking over the opponent's empires uh at the later timing um oh welcome back oh man oh man okay okay very nice very nice so you finish your day of work you're all good at home over there you get to chill put your feet up and just watch the screen got it got it i'm gonna do my best to actually be as uh how to say as entertaining and as possible as, uh, as positive as possible uh, we do have also grand columbia taken out uh, in the ninth uh, choice and by the looks of it, uh, we do have one more choice to go until uh, the players will finish the ban phase. Uh, then we're going to go for the last four picks and we're going to know how uh, this is going through. Uh, let me actually, uh, I just realized that I don't have something. I don't have the Premier League uh, logo and I have the other one, uh, the CWC logo. There we go. Uh, switched. Switch. So it, uh, we're getting this going properly with uh, all of the rules um, checked over there. Check 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 uh, okay uh, it looks like egypt uh, ptolemaic is actually going to be taken down over here with uh, that extra culture we've seen it uh, how uh, well it does now i'm a bit surprised that we don't have uh, for example the persia's um um, how to say, not getting banned, not getting picked, and it looks like we don't have Persian enjoyers here. Uh, I do also want to say we still have uh, Russia as an option for them uh, to go in the Tundra and uh, try to develop those cities over there. We still have uh, to see how they're going to generate the gold. At the moment, they didn't actually pick uh, gold generating civilizations here. Uh, Lincoln actually quite well known for not generating gold. The Sejong, not generating gold. The Robert the Bruce, eh, maybe even though uh, usually it does start up with campuses rather than that uh, Chandra Gupta again not well known for generating um uh, gold it is a holy site civilization as we like to call it so uh, oh my god this is a problem how are they gonna have the gold for everything but yeah queen picking the third civilization of um, escape puzzle escape settler we do have him going for peter and uh, it does look like again they're putting a lot of pressure on their uh, gold per turn across the board across their teams over there uh, so th this is a problem this is a problem i think and they need to uh, I, I mean, honestly, I was thinking something like Mali. <laughs> like at this point, they need so much gold. I don't know if a coastal civilization can actually make the gold they need uh, for uh, the next part of the game. Of course, uh, like talking about, for example, Lincoln, uh, you can actually generate... Um, um, units uh, from your industrial zones you get free units uh, so maybe that's gonna be an idea for them to uh, use that ability to try to go against somebody uh, but i don't think it is uh, gonna matter that much at some point like you get the free units and then you still need to upgrade them at some point right and get them to the next tech and especially late game economy is so important in the game <laughs> and we do have morty going for pakachuti which i gotta say it does actually benefit from a few bonuses uh, that could give him uh, extra gold especially for those uh, trade routes um, going through mountain um through mountains this is uh this is quite nice uh, through, uh, through his uh, capagnans uh, that's uh that's gonna be nice uh, I, uh let me see uh trade routes traveling through it can multiply the gold they can uh, get from districts at their destination okay yeah there we go there we go so pakachuti over here can be a gold generator and, and it looks like leather reeves uh, is gonna go for also cleopatra egyptian again a very well-known civilization that um, can generate a lot of gold from its um, trade routes and uh, also help out his allies with um, some extra food that's pretty good that is pretty good uh jaku hello there sir let's go little reeves uh, we do have a fan over here hello bonjour monsieur bienvenue jaku yeah let's go let's see what they're gonna do over here i do have to point out there's no option for dart other than going for um, a gold generating civilization because otherwise like i was saying their economy will go bust uh, from uh, the mid game uh, which uh, will cause a lot of issues uh, maybe early game and they can actually survive with uh, less than uh, ideal gold maybe they're gonna get uh, uh, how to say some um, resources that are gonna give them gold maybe they're gonna get lucky with some cotton tiles maybe with some um uh, uh, cocoa tiles oh no 
Oh no, 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 we got the mile over here again. Not the world known civilizations for generating the gold. I am very confused right now. So the only the only way they can actually make this work is if uh, Robert the Bus is going to go full um, commercials and uh, Abraham Lincoln is going to go full commercials. That's the only way. And uh, not even then, like it's very uh, unlikely that even then we might actually see uh, it, that economy shine. On the other side, Pacachuti and Cleopatra, I'm pretty sure is going to uh, provide the gold benefits, which is going to be fine. I don't think that's going to be that big of an issue for them uh, on the gold per ten. They also have Sejuk and Chandragupta on their side to actually uh, get the science, uh, get the damage. Chandragupta uh, will also benefit from uh, some bonuses from its uh, holy site buildings, the shrines and the temples of, towards his units extra um, uh, movement which is pretty good and uh, you do get the extra strength not bad not bad white amar i'm very curious about this also i don't know i i, I don't know I guess it's an experiment, you know, it's an experiment. Uh, two more metallic sieves, one rush campus city and uh, wants to make units and industrials, not a fan of... Yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be a, a, a bit of a challenge over here for them. Now, I guess, uh, well, they're experimenting and we're going to need to see if it works or not. Uh, also, good evening, uh, Tanhouse. Hello there, sir. Um, Zulna is also making a good comment. Tamar does mean uh, CS control. I do have to agree. Uh, when you're talking about uh, controlling the CSs over there on the map, uh, usually it is quite important to actually have that um, extra envoy uh, just standing, uh, sitting around uh, as an option. Now, uh, I, I think still... You know, priorities, man, priorities. I was thinking uh, definitely they're going to need to get the gold. Let me actually get a, a cup for juice here and give me a second. Give me a second. today i got one of those um uh, i would say fruit juices tropical juices um no gold generation on the same map yeah yeah well i guess uh, they will have quite a bit of time to try to get the uh, economy at some point uh, so maybe they're banking on that and they might not have um that um, that much early warfare to um worry about the beginning to actually buy out some units uh, try to uh, get some upgrades and uh, they well we'll see we'll see i'm uh, i i guess i can think of a few um, opportunities for them to try to get that uh, hi pantalus good evening sir rich rich tamar you never know man uh, yeah we well, never know uh, let's put up uh, the team uh, uh, um the remap generation over here how many remaps we're gonna have uh, zero one two as an Gargantus option just followed oh gargantu hello sir hello there uh, welcome thank you so much for the follow sir okay so uh, the remap um option is up uh, you can choose uh, if they're gonna have zero remaps one remap or two remaps uh, it is uh, only for five minutes i believe i put it and uh, of course let's actually see who's actually gonna get those points from it now we do have um, in the top left corner anchan well let's actually take a look who's actually in the top left corner that's actually on the other side of the map we do have india chandra gupta we do have him uh, over here with his uh, settler on some floodable terrain um, we are playing with um, bcy so they're gonna have uh, capitals uh, maximum you know, for the three one on the flat tiles and the two twos on the hill tiles mm. 
There is an option for him to move on the hill, to be honest. Is this a hill? Yes, that is a grassland here. Uh, there is also an option for him to actually settle that maze as well for a 3-1-2. Or just uh, settle in place if he doesn't want to uh, spend the extra time. Uh, let me actually see. Is anybody here? Is this is Chandra Gupta. Oh, yes, there is an uh, ink over there. So if uh, India is going to get another city uh, to the north or put his uh, capital city over there, he's uh, actually going to get coastal trade routes with uh, ink. Uh, that's going to be pretty good. You know, we do have him uh, with a decent amount of fresh water from the in uh, lakes and i do see some rivers not bad and of course all of this coast can actually be uh, discovered and uh, settled on we do have him um deciding to settle in place on the floodable terrain uh, he might not be that uh challenged by that land okay it's fine uh, coastal trade more gold yes yes exactly more gold for one team we do have two reefs over here with more gold um I, oh by the way i have uh, to say we hit 6500 guys we hit 6500 6502 right now oh let's go more let's go for 7000 let's go um go, yep yep we did it we did it boys um i do also want to take a look at the uh, inca spawn he does have a cusco next to a spy style with a 2-2 base and i do see some uh, bananas for him unfortunately both uh, the spice and the bananas do not actually benefit from uh, extra production only uh three one ones uh, i do also see he can uh, settle the cattle to the north for a three one base and uh, getting multiple um, two twos around them he does have a few nice places for his terrace farms uh, but unfortunately well not a lot of uh, plains hills did spawn uh, over here he has a few of them uh, here and there for example this one um, on the 2 base that's going to be a good terrace farm uh, this one that's an island town unfortunately this one uh, in the south uh, but other than that you can see uh, it's not that much uh, plains next to his um, mountains uh, we do have him with a decent amount of fresh water and i'm pretty sure he's gonna try to settle those rivers i don't see him with an ability to trade with anybody through some oh my god he might actually trade with egypt um through some capagnans that's uh, something that we need to take a look at if they if he's gonna manage to get that ability of um, the capagnan trade route thing thing over here to egypt that would be ideal he's gonna generate a lot of gold from this now uh, egypt in the southeast that doesn't look like he's gonna benefit uh, not only from his 3-1 base but also can work that um a tobacco tile for a 131 uh, getting the extra production and uh, the faith per turn he's gonna have an early ability to pick those um, uh, pantheons and we do need to see what kind of pantheons he's gonna go for uh pagach has, uh, has uh, mount vesuvius that's a god spawn uh i did notice yeah but it's uh, kind of far away it's like um two what is uh morty saying in on double uh, is it floodable? I mean, that's uh, that's what it means, right? Inondable. Yeah, boy. Uh, give me a second. Oh, I just uh, realized. I just realized that I uh, should have uh, responded to my French tutor to uh, set up tomorrow something. Uh, but uh, I uh, totally forgot to actually answer. Anyway, I just did right now. Um, let's uh, yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, next up, next up. Who do we have? Uh, Hansa? No, Hansa. Hansa is not a player. Well, no, it's not. But we do have uh, Saint Petersburg over here uh, with uh, Russia. He does have uh, one for uh, tier tiles in the capital. I do see some sheep tiles. Um, he does have the extra food coming up from uh, three of these fish in the water. That's not bad actually. Uh, getting the extra um, uh, food from there. Uh, we do have him on the west side with. Uh, um, some extra series and I do see he's gonna have um, well a decent amount of tundra to actually uh, go and settle to the west side there's uh, more and more and more uh, tundra uh, not to mention the east side uh, it doesn't look like he's gonna have anybody that can attack him early on unless you take into account of course uh, Pakachuti over here uh, but it's gonna take quite a bit of uh, effort for Pakachuti to get so far into the north uh, we do have um, also to take a look at the scout okay scout coming up in two turns looks like uh, he's um, gonna get the opportunity to go for Temple of Artemis if he wants so that actually is gonna 
give him a lot of amenities coming up from uh, around these tiles. I do see one, two, three, four, five uh, amenities that he could gather from there. Definitely good. Uh, not amazing as we've seen a plus eight and plus 12 and so on, but it's still it's pretty good. Let's take a look at Lincoln. Now, this is uh, no, this is Scotland actually. This is Scotland. We do have him with a uh, 2 2 base. He does have a sheep tile to the southwest. I do see an amber tile to the northeast as well with a 1 3 1. Unfortunately, well, that is lacking one point of uh, food. He does have uh, two amenities in the capital that he could uh, relatively easily improve and settle a third one to the west side on the marble tile. He's going to get an extra point of uh, culture and an extra point of amenity for a 2 2 1. Now, we do have him with uh, okay, another city over here to the east. East and I do see now uh, we're gonna have him with a bit of a problem not a lot of fresh water is um, appearing over here to the northeast of his cities he's gonna need to start aqueducting some uh, of his cities and that will take away quite a bit of uh, tempo from him now we do need to see if he's uh, gonna get to build those granaries before he's gonna get the aqueducts going that's probably gonna be his uh, thing uh, I do also want to point out if he's actually gonna go to the west side here he's gonna get into the same waters of uh, as Egypt uh, Egypt might not like that and will send some boats uh, to take care of those cities now looking at um, Lincoln this time Lincoln is with a white color he's gonna have um, uh in, okay, his cattle on a 2 2 base, 1 3 deer tiles, 1 4 deer tiles. Again, a possible Temple of Artemis for him to, uh, as an option. Uh, we do have a uh, scout coming up in 110, and by the looks of it, um, uh, two twos over here to the northeast. Uh, we do have uh, also 1 2 3 4 amenities, 5 amenities that he could get uh, with uh, Temple of Artemis. Not bad. No, and of course, uh, we do need to see if um, America is going to want to prioritize that or not. Would have been uh, much more useful for uh, Sterling, but he he does not have a camp around his cities. That's a bit unfortunate. We do have a Tbilisi over here. Oh my god. Two coffee tiles uh, in the capital city. So early on getting that extra culture point is going to be amazing. It does have um, also a decent amount of uh, food generation from the bananas and the sheep tile. And we do have him with uh, possible settles to the east, to the west, to the south. Uh, a decent amount of fresh water has uh, appeared over here next to his city. has spawned. And uh, we do have him um, relatively close to Korea, to the east. I gotta say they do have... Uh, to fight over and we're going to need to see if uh, Korea is actually going to get closer to Georgia. Remember Georgia does benefit from an amazing unit, the Kevsur, which is actually, well, quite powerful. You got to be careful with that. You might not want uh, to get into the crosshairs of that unit. Now, uh, hello there, Boreal. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Or I should say good afternoon because it's it's still light outside. This is weird, by the way. This is weird. Uh, for me, at least, I'm used to uh, streaming at evenings and late evenings and so on. Now, anyway, now we do have uh, also Seijong coming up uh, over here with a few Coco tiles uh, for him. And uh, Grossbill, by the looks of it, uh, did uh, grow into the wrong one. He went uh, and grew uh, the city into the Coco tile to the southwest instead of the 2 to 3 to the northeast. I still don't get it, man. They should actually definitely like change this priority of uh, growing into tiles. I, are you for real? Why are you growing into this weaker tile instead of this bigger one? Oh, man. And uh, anyway, he's getting a settler in two turns and uh, he he can actually put uh, quite a few cities here. Uh, as um, uh, Korea, you usually want to put the Seons in uh, as um you know, placement that has a lot of hills around it. It can only be placed on hills, so and uh, you do want to um, uh, improve mines all around that. Uh, you might want to also couple those seons uh, together to get uh, the hills in between uh, hit by multiple seons. Uh, so you. I uh, do get the um, uh, maximum amount of uh, science on each of those tiles. Uh, we do have also him with a decent, uh, well, I should say, um, river network. He does have a one to the south, uh, two to the north. And I do see, of course, uh, he's going to get this option to go to the west side. He's probably going to want to put a city over here in the south uh, next to that oil tile or right on the oil tile. And then uh, maybe, maybe he's going to go towards Ayutthaya. Now, it would actually be an e easy city to take over if he does... Uh, get to chop a few horses and uh, send them to Ayutthaya, also going to put him uh, quite close to Georgia. A bit of a problem, of course, with Georgia is the fact that those Kevsu are actually quite fast when it comes to hill terrain. Uh, not only they do get... Um an extra plus seven, uh, but they also don't receive any kind of movement penalty from the hill terrain. That's uh, that's uh, quite big. That is quite big. You get to move much faster than your opponent expects you to. 
Uh, also, townhouse, the better cocoa tile is across the river from the city center, and uh, so the tile expand gives uh, it a lower priority. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I think that uh, that is very bad. Very bad. Very bad. That is very bad. Anyway, now we do have. Um, him moving to the south somewhere and yeah, we didn't we don't see actually um, a waypoint for this yeah uh, copium yes copium uh, oh is that because the bridges aren't unlocked yet I, I don't know is that actually a thing I i'm not sure if it's a thing is that actually a thing anyway uh oh and getting dehydrated over here uh, the first bridge which uh, gets built by the trader uh, yeah i'm not sure if that's actually uh, a thing over there anyway we do have uh, the rima vote it was um at the beginning of turn 11 it is what it is they should have actually stopped at turn 10 it's fine and we do have them um, uh, trying to figure out if they do want to remap to be honest i didn't actually see a reason for let to let do reeves uh, to um uh, remap this and on the other side i don't think there's uh, that much of a reason uh, well they kind of chose their civilizations they're gonna have uh, awkward positions anyway you know, to try to get the uh, trade routes going and uh when you're talking about gold generation well they're gonna have to make it up somehow uh, we're gonna need to see if um and how things are gonna progress over here so they can actually overcome this You know one of those moments when you when you feel like doing I have no idea why they remap this. I'm, Of life beneath water. I, I don't know what to say. It's one of those moments. I I have no idea what to say. You have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this Does anybody know? Can you help me out here? Uh, uh, city uh, appears to grow. Uh, uh, it prefers to grow into a circle with more resources. Uh, flat cocoa has a cattle in thirding. That is okay. Well, we're gonna see this. We're gonna see this uh, map again. We're gonna have to wait and see if uh, and how they're gonna get this going. Anyway, now we're waiting for all of the players to actually load into the game over here. We do have uh, Korea coming up with uh, his uh, Settler, and by the looks of it, uh, he, well, he does have a decent amount of uh, rivers over here to actually uh, get the fresh water from. Uh, he, he does also have America to the southeast, which is uh, going to be an opponent. Uh, this is not ideal, uh, not ideal for him, but I guess it's fine. Uh, they both have a good... I would say uh, good timings, good signs. Uh, we're gonna see if they do manage, uh, if uh, Korea does manage to get to his watches before Lincoln does get his uh, free units coming against them, and if uh, Lincoln is actually gonna prioritize uh, doing that. We do have uh, Grossbill also with uh, some extra gold with uh, two, two, three truffle tiles over here, and I do see a deer tile as well to the northwest. Um, and uh, well, he might actually not actually go that far into the south. Uh, by looks of it, maybe two cities that will be settled over here, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> not a lot of um, uh, opportunities for America to settle in the north. Uh, I do see him, uh, yes, with uh, the two northeastern side, uh, with um, the river to the northeast. That could be... Um 
uh, settled and maybe he's gonna go for a non-fresh water or a coastal city over here to the northwest on the stone tile even though i do see he's uh, gonna have challenges in other locations also uh does look like uh, lincoln over here will need to uh, pull up uh, pull out a rabbit out of his hat to actually make this uh, everything work now we do have uh, also him uh, getting some scouts out just as uh, well if, as uh, soul is going for some scouts where is uh, russia where is uh, Russia? Uh, I, I, do, I did also notice Jan Causeway, by the way. Jan Causeway getting him uh, some extra bonuses for Lincoln, probably. I don't think anybody else is going to get it. And uh, isn't this plus three on attack now? I know it got toned down from a plus five, but isn't this like plus three on attack? And why don't I get any drop down? Hello? Game? Hello? Oh my god, anyway, Jan Kose, plus 3 when attacking, you only get it one when attacking, it's not gonna be otherwise than that. Uh, let's actually take a look at uh, uh, Egypt, uh, coming up uh, in Rakedet, we do have a uh, warrior uh, over here. Moving to the west side, it looks like a uh, scout coming up in three times. A 3 1 base for him, and he does have uh, much more uh, floodable terrain than everything else. Uh, then uh, the last map, we got 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 10 tiles over here for him to uh, get a Temenanki. Well, we're going to need to see if Lady of the Ridge Marshes will be a priority. I think so, especially with the second river to the southwest. Uh, which team did remap? It was uh, Ledo Reeves uh crystal ball thing yeah maybe maybe they they saw into the future they saw something they did not like into the future guys is anybody here watching foundation uh, anybody let's actually put up a poll uh did you watch foundation i guess some of you actually read the books but yes no just a just a quick uh question over here yeah, uh, love foundation. No spoilers. No spoilers, man. No spoilers. I okay. No spoilers. Uh, but uh, that's what I want to see. Did you watch foundation? Okay, I see a no over there. It's one of the best, uh, I would say, um, uh, series that you can find out there when it comes to like science fiction and so on and so forth. At, at this point. Uh, so that's why I'm asking, did you did you watch it or did you not watch it? I'm, I'm not gonna do spoilers, but man, I I did want to make. Um, uh, I would say a comparison about that crystal ball thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I don't think it's actually spoiling the, the movie if I say that. Uh, anyway, uh, whatever. I, I'm just going to wait for the poll over here. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. No, you're not saying. I, I see only one vote. One vote. One vote going through. Really? Nobody saw it? They, well, except the uh, eight count also. Good evening, sir. And uh, love you. Foundation over there. Let, let's go. Let's go yeah yeah okay so one one of them okay okay it's a it's a tie right now i voted myself i voted myself so it's a two two haha -ha, we got a tie over there anyway without actually giving uh, too much about the movie you should definitely watch it or i should say the series it's uh getting into the second uh, series right now um there's a math problem that is getting solved uh, that uh, predicts uh, uh, psychos history or something like that that predicts uh, the outcome of empires uh, using uh, previous um, how to say um, uh, history uh, and also uh, human behavior so they were predicting the end of the empire and a lot of stuff has happened uh, that you should watch the movie to actually see but anyway i was talking about the formula maybe they applied that formula in this game and they saw where it leads so they didn't like that spawn you know anyway let's take a look uh, over here on tbilisi oh, i don't know if this is a better spawn uh, with... underscore 721 just followed oh lena uh 721 thank you so much for the follows uh sir ma'am i'm not sure how to call you sir ma'am slash uh, sir slash ma'am uh welcome sir uh kind of funny everyone going astrology or pottery as first technology yeah they feel they feel they're safe they feel they're safe it's fine now we do have uh, tbilisi over here with a few um uh, rivers to the east side i do see he's also gonna have um, an inland sea to uh, take care of on the west side uh, doesn't uh, have anybody or he does have actually somebody over here to to the east side sterling it's gonna appear that's gonna be one of his allies and it looks like he's gonna get to sim instead of uh, going for any kind of warfare he does have an opponent to the north that's egypt but that's kind of far away for him to get to 
Also, now we do have uh, to take a look at uh, Sterling. He does have an amenity from underneath his settle. That's a Mercury tile that he settled on with a 3-1-1 base. He does have uh, some 3-2 bananas for the extra food. And I do notice he's going to have uh, a decent amount of uh, fresh water over here. One big continent for him. And unfortunately, that's not going to give him a lot of amenities. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at that. I scroll down and I do see the Novo Pangea. Uh, we do have um, also him with an ability to get uh, some tea tiles from them. An extra amenity and that's about it actually that's it oh my god that's it and maybe if he actually takes chinguetti he's gonna get uh, more uh, but yeah getting into tundra to get the seal tile i'm not sure if that's gonna be an option for him Anyway, he does have a decent amount uh, to, uh, of land to settle, and by the looks of it, north, west, uh, north, east, uh, west side over here, uh, some cities in the south, southeast, and that's going to be a few uh, different options uh, for him to go for. Uh, looks like he's also going to have uh, IPO to the northeast, that's going to be an opponent for him, uh, and uh, we do need to see what IPO is going to do with his uh, scouts, if he's going to get to discover the opponent's lands or not. It's a decent amount of uh, distance for him, and uh, no incentive for him to actually go to the southwest uh, because of the lack of uh, fresh water now he might settle panna but then uh, to actually reach scotland it's going to take a little bit of effort we do have uh, him also with an ability to uh, secure the dead sea to the north uh, where he does have an amenity settle on the mercury tile he could actually settle also on the marble tile quite easily for a 2-2-1 base and we do need to see um, where is he going to prioritize to go for. I don't think he actually discovered the Dead Sea to the north. Like looking at his uh, vision. Yeah, there we go. He didn't discover the, that wonder to the north. His scouts are going east, south. And uh, he does have a warrior going west. So definitely did not discover the north. Uh, he does have actually a good uh, stone circles. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six tiles that will get improved in the capital with a possible uh, seven and eight over here. He does have some um, uh, more tiles that he could improve. Uh, he's on the continent with uh, gypsum and uh, marble. Uh, so both of those are quarries. Both of those are going to get the extra production points and the faith points. Okay, okay. I'm actually curious uh, what kind of uh, religion he's going to go for. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for uh, religion. I, we just don't know which religion. Now, let's actually take a look at Russia. This time, actually, Russia still has a 1-3 deer tile, uh, but a much weaker Temple of Artemis from what I do see. Only one, two, maybe three bonuses are uh, three bonus amenities. Uh, four bonus amenities here with uh, the sheep tile, uh, the fourth ring, and uh, that's about it. We do have him with uh, some one tile lakes that he could settle. Uh, it's going to be far away until he actually gets to Chinguetti. Chinguetti pretty good city actually uh, to get the extra face generation going and by the looks of it uh, he might want to prioritize uh, setting to the east rather than the west. Uh, there's a, a clear blockage of uh, fresh water here. Uh, they're also gonna need to see if uh, they can get um, uh, feed the world for him because that's gonna be a uh, important important uh, part of uh, peter's empire he definitely needs the fruit uh, to grow with uh, grow his cities in the tundra over here there's not a lot of food available a uh, lot less uh, for example fish tiles uh, that are going to give him the food to grow his uh, cattle and unless he actually goes for the temple of artemis we just talked about uh, he's going to have a problem uh, growing of past 10 pop or even seven pop uh Okay. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you. Now, uh, highlights is just same word. Okay, this is the map, guys. This is the map. I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put up a poll, guys. I'm gonna put up a poll. Um, which map was a better for Le De Reeves? First or second? Or none. I guess there's also none. Now, let's go for three minutes on this. Start the poll. Guys, let's, let's see. What do you think? Which map was better for Le De Reeves? first second map or none of course this is the second map you saw the first map and uh, i am actually quite curious about this result over here now i think hungary is good on uh, highlands uh, yes it is but it was banned if i uh, not mistaken also to answer blaze cat uh, games yes usually on this uh, map you do see the um, 
players are preferring to sim more than war. Uh, at some point, there's gonna be a lot of uh, warfare, and um, that's usually coming up in the mid to late game, starting off king, uh, king of the wars, the major wars, uh, after 1070 or something like that. For King Nike, also good evening, sir. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, and welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, is it uh, north versus south? Uh, not really. Let me actually see. Say junk with the uh, yeah, it is a north versus south. It is a north versus south. You you caught it. So we got say junk, Cleopatra, uh, India, and then bam, we got the uh, Pacachuti over here. Uh, Morty moving his uh, center to the east uh, to the southwest, and I do see Russia with. Um, uh, uh, Scotland with Tamar and uh, Lincoln coming up on uh, the opponent side. No kick W, bad Paul. Come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to make this, uh, you know, laughable matter. Uh, didn't manage the prediction. We do have one remap. Okay, complete the prediction. So uh, we do uh, give the points to the ones that won it. Also, Machiavelli. Hello, there, and welcome. I'm uh, I'm waiting to be taught the lessons over here. Let's let's see how this goes. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna learn some new words today. Maybe we're gonna learn how to speak something. Uh, let me actually see. Also, on my screens, uh, sorry, on uh, team labels. Let's uh, put uh, escape puzzle. Escape puzzle uh, coming up on the left side that's actually escape settler guys that's uh, that's what it means escape settler and on the right side we do have uh, L l2r right l2r the reeves there we go there we go all right sir. uh swear pm thank you so much for, for the follow sir welcome welcome uh, we did, we do need to take a look at their uh, early options at uh, the beginning uh, to actually get a prediction going for who's gonna win this. Uh, I do want to take a look at also the strategic um, uh, resources so we do know if uh, they're actually gonna have uh, all of them available and uh, relatively cheap to improve. It does look like uh, for example on uh, Korea we do have uh, both uh, iron and horses in the third ring that's gonna be quite expensive for him to go for. He's already putting down his Seon. The good thing is uh, he's going to um, um, culture bomb these tiles over here and uh, he's going to acquire the iron uh, immediately while, of course, the horse uh, is going to require some gold. Only 35, though, if he does um, get a connection tile, the second ring, uh, he's going to get a... Uh, much cheaper because he doesn't need to buy that. The third uh, settler is also coming out and it looks like there, there were five votes into the first one, zero votes into the second one. Okay, I got it. The question was which map was better for Ledu Reeves. It looks like um, the stream chat in his in its all mighty knowledge said it was better if you would have stayed on the first map. Why didn't you? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Uh, coming up uh, also on uh, the south, we do have uh, Lincoln also meeting uh, Korea. And looks like Rospil is going to have a decent uh, challenge uh, to meet those American units on the battlefield. And uh, I do see America is also finding about uh, Jan Causeway to the northeast. Uh, does look like uh, Sirius uh, did not discover it fully, but he does see uh, two letters over here, C and A. And he can uh, deduce what's that about, especially with the extra culture uh, coming up on the tile he discovered. We do have uh, St. Louis. And St. Louis and um, Washington putting down these um, uh, campuses is benefiting from a plus uh, one over here campus and a plus two campus in Washington. Uh, by the looks of it, we do have the third settler also coming around the next turn and uh, he is, um, well, he's going to have an option to go directly to the northwest on the stone tile and, uh, uh, and or uh, go over here to the southeast on that river. I don't think he's going to go for any other uh, option because there's like non fresh water everywhere. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to um, uh, try to be in the fresh water series with at least, at least the first First uh, three that he actually puts down. Now we um, do see he also benefits from iron in the third ring, uh, horses in the third ring. Uh, again, both resources are quite expensive for him to go for. And for example, in San Luis, uh, he could have settled um, you know, that campus on a plus a four tile instead of a plus one tile, but that was expensive. And especially at the beginning of the game, you're, you don't, you just don't have a lot of gold to um, get everything going. Saying that, and then opening up um, uh, the score tab here, I do see we're gonna have, we do have a lot of gold the four led to reeves i don't know what happened on them but they do have a lot of gold uh, across their across the board 
Now we do have uh, Rakedet going uh, for Etemenaki in four turns. Uh, he's uh, gonna get the extra production points on all of these uh, floodable terrain tiles and get the science alongside that. I do see uh, he benefited from um, the deer tile extra production and of course uh, from the palace production in the, the city of Rakedet. And we do have uh, thieves uh, in the south uh, with a monument coming up in two turns. He does have uh, bananas to grow that city a little bit faster and of course I do notice he's getting scouted by Scotland. It might make a difference if Scotland is actually going to stop at the Menaki from finishing but I don't think he can anymore. It's a bit too late for him to actually uh, get there. Now we do have also available horses in the second ring for Rakedet and I do see his iron is going to be expensive uh, third ring out to the west side. Might actually want to put a city closer uh, to get it in the second ring. Of course uh, oh, they, they actually spent the slinger. I don't know why they spent the slinger, but I guess it's fine. 65 gold. What 65 gold to their gold? You know, it's it's fine. It's all good. No problems. No problem. Uh, we do have over here actually quite a few units uh, getting next to the cities of uh, Scotland. Looks like Scotland did get a slinger out of Sterling. And uh, he does have a third center going to the southeast. Uh, we do have IPO and um, no, Mind Blow just sniffing around the cities of Dundee and Sterling, trying to figure out if there is uh, any kind of weakness happening over here uh, that they could exploit. Now, we do have uh, Campus coming up from Sterling in two turns. That's a plus one. And in Dundee, it's going to be a plus three uh, using the mountain adjacency and the two rainforest tiles, uh, the banana and, of course, the rainforest to the northwest of Dundee. Well... Let me actually take a look. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of amenities from what I do see. Like one amenity, uh, yes, he's going to get more of Mercury, but not that big. No uh, camp. No camp whatsoever to get those extra amenities going. A bit unfortunate for Scotland. This is not ideal. Not ideal at all for Scotland. Anyway, no, I, w I honestly was expecting him to go and uh, settle the north, but I think this uh, Egyptian scout uh, threw a wrench in his plans. Uh, he doesn't want to be that close to Egypt, especially if Egypt does uh, get extra production going and um, gets to use those Mariano Cheddar archers. That's going to be a problem. Uh, those are extremely, extremely hard to take care of um, because of their damage. Now we do have uh, Sterling also with uh, Iron and the horses in the third ring. Again, expensive, very expensive uh, for them to actually gather. Uh, it's good that they do get the connection tiles um, opened up. So they don't need to spend the extra 25 gold to buy those as well. Uh, Chandra Gupta is uh, starting to put down his uh, holy sites. He finished the first one uh, from Panda, his capital city. And uh, we do have Big Z. Welcome back, sir. Oh, that was fast, man. Oh, that, that was fast. Uh, Chris, man, also, bonsoir, monsieur. Bienvenue, bienvenue. I have to leave for you. I just wanted to see how uh, your uh, my team is going. Yeah, it's going. It's going. I gotta say, a uh, guy. Um, guys, guys, a lot, a ludicrous man. I gotta say, I gotta tell, I gotta tell on them. They remapped a map that shouldn't have remapped. Oh my god, yes. Oh, didn't feel fast because of the traffic, yes. I can imagine, man. I can imagine. <laughs> Uh, we do have um, uh, shrines uh, coming up in two turns uh, for Panda, and I do see um, he still did not meet the Dead Sea. Wait, did he not meet the Dead Sea? Oh, he did. Okay, never mind. He did. He did. IPO knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He's going to probably get another city over there. Uh, so, thank you, everybody. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you doing? Uh, Scotland frontline uh, is very bad, but luckily it's Highlands. Yes. Yes. He has two opponents to go against. Not going to be easy uh, in the next part of the game. I do notice, of course, that Tamanaki has finished in the city of Rakedet, getting those extra science points on a uh, mind blow. He's already on 10 science with 5 culture. He's getting his uh, builders up in 2. And uh, I gotta say, I gotta say, in this particular situation, you definitely want to get the third city as soon as possible. Um, you finish the Temenaki, you get the third setter going. But I guess, uh, well, we're going to need to see what he's going to do with the builder. He probably wants the extra production going, probably wants uh, some uh, horses improved as well um in the cities of uh, I, uh, india we do have there's no iron over here like the only iron tile here oh no there is iron over here uh, southwest third ring okay third ring tile now again expensive for him no horses in the capital city from what i do see unless he actually put the holy site on it which we won't know until we do know uh do we have uh army tab did he actually discover animal husbandry i have no idea let's see yes he did discover animal husbandry and he is acquiring two uh horse tiles uh, uh, two horse resources per turn so i think he did put uh, one of 
of these uh, holy sites you now before we actually switch the vision to him so um, we don't see the horse icon anymore but it's there it's there you gotta trust you gotta trust in the way you know the way this better spectator mode works now we do have uh, Russia with three cities uh, as well. Looks like he's getting his whole prayer uh, project going. Uh, a th a third Rava coming up in five turns. And uh, I do see he's um, at the moment trying to get to... Oh, Georgia is going to snatch the first profit. Uh, we're going to need to see Russia get it right afterwards. I'm pretty sure he can actually get uh, the next three points in, in uh, the next turn. While India is uh, not... Um, is not... Um, Focusing this at the moment. And we do have uh, Russia also with the ability to get uh, the DR tile improved and try to get the Temple of Artemis next to it. I'm actually quite uh, curious if he's going to go for it. We do have uh, him also needing to improve the sheep tiles to get extra production. He could get the horses from uh, the city of Kazan uh, to start acquiring that resource. And he does have an iron tile in the third ring of uh, St. Petersburg, but again, not acquired. He's going to need uh, to buy, uh, get to use a little bit of gold on that. Also, the great Gonzo. Hello there, sir. Um, india needs to buy a 2-1 to get his iron 2 yeah i know right it's uh, it's very expensive uh Kielus, hello there sir good evening andy robo so almost you have venue we got also another uh, two uh, another fee um oh stone beat uh, loader sir no big capsules is incoming yes unfortunately man no capsules i did uh, want to ask uh, answer the questions over here let's see we could see some highlanders come from scotland for defense later that would be funny uh they can't be that bad <laughs> 65 um that is for in the 15 five. Professor underscore to underscore physique just followed. Hey, le prof de physique bienvenue monsieur merci beaucoup pour le follow um let, let's see they can be uh, lots of movement and the plus five on heels makes them a match for cuirassier so i gotta say highlanders are gonna be really funny if we do see them i want to see that also kelu is asking about the pantheon we do have um russia with sacred path we do have india we don't know the indian uh, uh Pantheon, we got religious settlements coming up over here on Scotland. Looks like uh, Lady of the Ridzer Marsh is coming up for uh, the uh, cities of Egypt. Is um, getting that extra production going from all of these floodable terrain tiles. Tamar did go for Earth Goddess, starting to acquire... Uh, and the faith uh, from his uh, charming and breathtaking uh, tiles. We do have uh, Catholicism over here for him. Jesuit education with papal primacy is uh, going to get to use the faith uh, to buy all the campus and theater square buildings with faith and also the ability to get uh, the pressure whenever he's going to put an envoy into a city state so he can convert that city much faster. Uh, Leshrak, hello there, sir. Uh, salute, salute. Um, no, so let's see. Nine Science Korea, yes. Yes, nine science Korea. I think uh, he did finish his seance, but they're kind of weak at the moment. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's the base too, so it is what it is. He's getting the third one soon. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I hope I answered the question with the Pantheon here, because we do need to take a look what's going on. We do have uh, Russia getting his religion as well. Eastern Orthodoxy. He did get to um, acquire feed the world and lay ministry, getting the extra food and the housing for um, each of the shrines and temples. And of course, uh, he's gonna get the uh, lay ministry for the. Extra extra two faith on holy sites extra two culture on theater squares uh, no one from french team gonna be able to contest culture or inca going uh, uh, preserves and we might see uh, preserves i don't know uh, let's see what inca is gonna do oh inca inca lost the builder oh the great builder snatching of uh what, what is it 2160 bc this will go down in history there was a man Wait, is it a cat or a... Uh, it's a dog, right? This is a dog. A man with a dog came into the middle of the night. At the moon... With only the moonlight showing the terrain. And convinced the builders of the great, the mighty nation of India to actually go with him. A lot of families were broken. A lot of tears were shed. And Morty, controlling Inca, remain without a builder. Oh, well, it is what it is, man. To be this, uh, to be continued. It's Scooby Doo. Wait, is, is that actually Scooby Doo? That that. Okay, well, we got all of the Scooby Doo's over here coming up. Yes, uh, secret path on Russia. No, 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 no. Uh, wait, secret. Yeah, he did get secret. Oh my God. Uh, 
Okay, well, in his defense, uh, the other option would have, have been much better either. As in uh, going for um, Dance of the Aurora, it wouldn't have been better. Because Dance of the Aurora got changed at some point by BBG. Actually, it got changed multiple times. But the last version of um, uh, Dance of the Aurora only gives you adjacency from the flat tiles around it. And not all of the tiles. So, you get hill terrain, you're, you're not going to get uh, extra adjacency. So, you know maybe he's getting some points from this i don't think a lot though a plus three lavra over here another plus uh, three lavra over here he has this one another plus three not a lot but i guess you know it, it works uh highlanders are buffed on bbg they have a uh, plus 10 in context on the uh, city ten. um nah, 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 combat strength yeah uh, so on a hill they are a 65 and a 70 actually very strong yes they are very strong actually plus a six pantheon is not good at all uh yeah i mean don't get me wrong i don't like it but he did choose it so we're going to need to see what he's going to do with it now we do have uh, some poses going around maybe they're uh, lacking something anyway we're going to need to see how uh, and he's going to develop his cities over here i still don't see him uh, going for that temple of artemis which is uh, making me itch but i do have to say he did manage to get uh, feed the world which is going to be good he's going to get that uh, extra uh, food going into his cities uh, so allowing him to actually grow these cities uh, to a good population level and we do have uh, inca also with uh, starting up with commercials i do see he did actually benefit from the death style from the beginning with uh, god of war and plunder available as a pantheon he's uh, getting his fourth city out i think that's the first uh, nation that we saw with the fourth settler coming around from him and with the magnus internals he does also benefit from a fertile a three to one in his capital and uh, i do see magnus establishing in the four times in the city of Cusco, his uh, capital city uh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. non-freshwater city on antawaila antawaila uh, how do you pronounce this machiavelli machiavelli bro bro how do you pronounce this how do you get uh, to talk about antavaila is it antavaila or is it antavaila no uh, is that a v or a wa wa uh, does he have lost a forest or something no uh, why not dance of the aurora because he wouldn't have had uh, more bonuses from dance of the aurora there just weren't a lot of uh, flat tiles um, that would have given him uh, bonuses yeah, he's in hills. He, he just doesn't have a lot of... Like, even here, he, he, there's just not enough flat tiles uh, to give him the adjacency. Yeah. Uh, I think it's either, because that's in Spanish. Okay, so I can actually go for both. Got it! Got it! It is bad with Kuro BBG, you only get the JSON from flat tunnel tiles, and uh, if you go say dance of the era would be useless. Yeah, I guess, I guess. No fresh water on Nika with three improvements, he'll be okay in habitation. I mean, yeah, yeah, but for the first city, I just find it a little bit awkward. Like, for, sorry, for the second city, I just find it a little bit awkward. He's gonna be fine when he's gonna get his builder, he's gonna be a bit slow to actually get the culture going. He does have seven culture from something, and I'm, I, I'm not sure what, but he does make a little bit of extra culture from somewhere. I'm pretty sure he actually got, uh, wait a second second monument over here no more oh yeah he did get the monument in Cusco. he did uh, get the monument in don tantaibo no monument in antavaila yet okay uh, he's uh, getting also the first trader to uh, connect from Antavaila to Cusco, and of course, uh, multiple commercials are going to be finished here. It's going to take a while until he's going to make Antavaila work. And I gotta say again, uh, we do have. We do have to talk a little bit about the placements of uh, these terrace farms. So uh, this time he actually has uh, mountains and the plains uh, next to them. Now, uh, unfortunately, Antavaila does not have a lot of them, but I guess he's going to get the food anyway. Uh, it's a problem with the production. He could aqueduct and, of course, increase the adjacency towards uh, those um, uh, terrace farms. Uh, terrace farms. The terrace farms uh, do actually give you two production for each adjacent aqueduct district. So you can uh, get the production going if you do place them in um, a nice, nice position. We do also see Iron in the capital city of Cusco in the first ring. I do see the horses are going to be second ring from Olatan Taibo. Uh, and I, I really find these names extremely funny, by the way. Where are you going today? Ah, we're going to Olatan Taibo. That's a, that, that's, a, that's a very long name. It's a very long name. Uh, it is what it is, man. And Georgia did take uh, Earth Goddess. Yes, he did take. I think they actually talked about uh, which option is going to be uh, better on which. And uh, maybe uh, Vadia Queen did manage to get uh, the first option to get the Pantheon going. And uh, he chose uh, to go for um, 
Earth Goddess, not allowing uh, his opponent to get it. We do have um, campuses coming around from Gutaisi. Looks like, uh, of course, he did build those uh, two holy sites over here. He does have a decent amount of face generator already. He's uh, getting his CKs going. These are the unique um, walls that Georgia does benefit from, giving him um, bonuses into faith and culture at the moment. If I remember correctly, they did increase uh, the yields on the CKs, um, getting the extra culture. There we go. Extra per culture per turn is going to be quite good. Uh, and I do see Magnus establishing in the city of uh, Tbilisi. Uh, we do have. Uh, uh, we do have him uh, also improving some of his um, resources so he gets his uh, amenities going at the moment he's at the content level and uh, from what i do see he did improve uh, just one tea tile does he have uh, so he can improve another honey tile that's going to be easy to get that's about it I don't see a lot of um, resources here for him, unfortunately. Like a lot of, uh, sorry, not uh, all resources, um, luxury resources. So he gets the amenities from. Uh, we do have uh, also America with his uh, fourth settler. It looks like Korea is trying to get a, a scout over there to see what's going on. Maybe block the cities of um, placement of the cities of uh, America to the north. I do see Cincinnati did get established to the southeast, uh, benefiting from a plus a three campus over here in the north. And ah. Uh, Guys, why is Bulmus not Bulmus not getting more in the games? Uh, also, a uh, question over here from Stop It. What pantheon did Georgia take? Maybe Russia. He did get the Earth Goddess. Earth Goddess. Now also, in Blaze cat, cat names, native names may be kind of sad because it reminds me that all of the native speakers of those languages and those cities are gone, and that is just remnants of the colonizers' memories and their descendants that we know the names of native cities. I mean, at least we can honor them with this, you know, like honor them with uh, the names and uh, a little bit of uh, culture from them, and then uh, we get to spread the word about uh, their, um, uh, I would say, their history yeah yeah i think i i, I yeah I, I find them cool as well iguana master hello there sir and yeah i i also am of the same opinion also unique units and so on and so forth we get to hear a lot of uh, things that we don't usually get to hear uh in uh how to say normal school and depending on where you are on the world uh, what about ages? Uh, we are at 1029. We do have uh, two more turns until we're going to go into the classical era. And it looks like everybody did manage to get the correct era score for the golden age. Uh, we uh, just need to wait until that's uh, going to be, um, I would say, uh, uh, that's going to be discovered. Uh, that's very fascinating. They have no written language, so we know them from oral past now. Yeah. 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 Maybe it would, uh, maybe they only spread them as three letters, you know, Orlantan Taibo. It was actually just O, o, o L something, <laughs> you know, T O L T T, eh? four letters O L T T, but uh, actually it was spelled Orlantan Taibo. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God! Anyway, yeah, it is what it is. Um, it's it's fun to imagine things. Yeah, uh, well, uh, IG, the mines, uh, I think uh, maybe some others uh, had one. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's let's see what uh, we do have. Let's see what we have over here as uh, city states, and then we're gonna come back to uh, the options for uh, era score. Uh, we do have uh, a cad with Angarzagamu, Kabul, and Preslav coming up for the military bonuses. Looks like Armagh, Jerusalem, Laventa, Yerevan, and Chinguetti are gonna be in the games uh, for the religious bonuses. These are a lot of city states uh, that are gonna give them a lot of uh, faith per turn, which is gonna be nice, especially if, uh, because we do have like three nations that are gonna want to uh, get the benefits from these. Uh, Kumasi is the only one for culture. It looks like Cardiff with Hong Kong will provide the industrial bonuses. And I gotta say, there, is, there are zero commercial city states and zero science city states. Guys, guys, zero science city states. And yes, 12, um, 12 pop Scotland. 12 pop scotland yes we do have him getting his uh, commercials down and i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a race started over here for the early merchants we do have uh, inca with the uh, god of war and plunder on four great merchant points a turn while we do have uh, scotland on one and that's about it uh, throughout the game i'm pretty sure uh, we're gonna need to see uh, some more nations over here trying to get their um merchants going uh, buddhism india did go for color music with a uh, pilgrimage he's gonna get a plus two faith for this city following the religion and uh, color music uh, giving him the shrines and temples providing the culture equal to their intrinsic faith output that's two and four and also went for initiation rights this is a bit 
weird initiation items on his side, but maybe he, you know, why didn't he go stone circles, man? Oh, oh my god. Uh, okay. Guys. Do the math. Do the math. Let's let's big brain this. Let's big brain this. So how much do you get from a source man if you uh wait how much how much do you get it's like 10 percent or something initiation rights what is it 15 percent or it's uh, 35 35 percent of the production value in faith when produced so let's see sourceman and i i guess it does uh, take uh, um, into account the cards so this is 45 uh, okay 15 uh, actually a little bit more than 15 what 18 faith you get 18 faith every time you actually build a swordsman if you build a swordsman right and so let's not take into account the gogi and anything uh, else which i'm not even sure it does take into account uh with stone circles uh it's 31.5 okay 31.5 with stone circles you would have gotten per turn one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen he would have gotten 14 per turn just pass actually even more 15 16 17 17 faith per turn just from that passive yes that's what i said okay 15 so he would have gotten per turn with stone circles more faith than he would have gotten from building a unit just let that sink in for a moment just saying man if you want faith i think stone circles with more production it's better you know just just saying just saying man you you gotta take a look at your options really, really closely and uh, try to work the numbers. I don't know why he didn't go stone. I don't know either. I don't know, man. Uh, it, it just felt much better. Maybe somebody took it away from him, but I, I didn't see anybody going stone circles. Let's see. Fertility rights coming up for uh, Gross Pill. Uh, what do we have on America? America did go for God of Open Sky, so he's getting the culture coming up from his uh, pastures. Not bad, actually, as an option, but I don't see him actually benefiting from a lot of pastures. Uh, maybe one in the capital, two, three, oh, uh, four. Okay, four culture. Yeah, that, okay, sure, four culture. It is what it is. I don't think anybody went uh, stone circles here. Religious settlements on uh, Scotland, Lady of the Reeds uh, coming up for Egypt. Oh, mind blow, he's getting very aggressive. <laughs> he's getting very aggressive. He's putting horses, uh, the first classical units coming up on the field, building more. Okay, I mean, yeah, he, he wants to show Scotland over here. Who's the boss? And we're going to need to see if uh, Scotland is going to be aware of what's uh, going to happen. And we do have uh, Egypt also getting his fourth city. And we do need to talk about now. And we put everything aside. Uh, we got to get the prediction going, actually. Totally forgot about that. Uh, who will win? On one side, we do have Led Reeves. Uh, and on the other side, we do have Escape Puzzle, which actually means Escape Settler. Now, let's put a 30 minutes because I'm pretty sure it's going to take a while to get through this. And also, and he would have had the faith very early. Yes, I know. I know. Hey, bonjour, Fifi. Como ça va, monsieur? Bienvenue. Uh, data pick here. I don't understand if he had been surrounded by three opponents or he would be running everybody constantly building units the whole game. Why Moksha in a cap? Uh, I, I don't know why the Egypt went for Moksha in cap. I'm pretty sure uh, Liang would have been much nicer here. Maybe he would have um, made use of uh, Moksha in another city or something. But getting that extra... Um, uh, production from Liang would have been amazing. I uh, would have uh, Neken uh, also settled to the northwest, and I do want to start the rounds uh, for the Golden Age. Monumentality Golden Age coming up on uh, Peter. We do have him on 44 faith a turn with 8 science and the uh, 7 culture only. He did build the Temple of Artemis uh, over here to the northwest of uh, St. Petersburg. I'm pretty sure it's from Petersburg, but let's check. 
It is from St. Petersburg. Okay, he's getting the monuments in. He's getting some uh, more theater squares in from uh, Voronets. And uh, I do see um, he's getting some gold from his improved deer tile. But not, of gold, uh, not a lot of gold otherwise. He's only on four gold a turn. And, uh, well, we're going to need to see how he's going to get out of this hole. Now, we do have uh, Vadia Queen with 13 science and 7 culture. He's in a monumentality age of his own. And uh, this is a bit surprising that he went monumentality. But I guess Pembrush and Voice is going to be his next choice. He does uh, benefit from 52 faith at 10 with 30 production only on three series. And I do see him getting his fourth and the fifth uh, outside uh, already with the sixth and the seventh and the eighth in the bill queues. Uh, he's going to try to expand as quickly as possible over here. We'll see uh, if that actually uh, is going to be the correct strategy to go. Uh, we do have him uh, using his Gavro Plaza to increase the GCC towards uh, campus, getting a uh, 5 science with uh, also increasing the GCC of his holy site to the southwest. Uh, he could uh, chop the deer tile for a better campus over there and of course making more use of uh, that um, geothermal fissure adjacency. Uh, we do have also Sewi. Uh, Sewi. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Is it Sevi or Sewi? Or I, I have no idea. Anyway, uh, Robert the Bruce coming up with a uh, Pembrush and Voice uh, Golden Age. We do have uh, Scotland one, still on three series. Uh, he did have uh, the most uh, population at some point. He's now on 12. He doesn't have it anymore. And actually, it's uh, Pakachuti and a Mind Blow that are benefiting from 13 and 14, respectively. Uh, Liang Capital in Sterling looks like. Uh, but why? Hmm. Mm. Um. Oh. You, you know you know that face your dog makes when you're talking to him and he doesn't understand that face I, i'm gonna make that face oh you know you know that face he's going city parks he's going city parks oh Okay, let's see. He's going city parks. Uh, let's see. In chat, it's saying city parks. City parks, of course. Let's see. Is it city parks? He's next to an opponent. Is it wise to go city parks over here? I don't know, man. I, I don't know. 18 science, 19 culture, 33 production. We got the uh, horses uh, coming up from Egypt, stopping the ground between them. Uh, Scotland is gonna get to. Uh, he's gonna need to actually chop a few of his own to try. To, to stop this from happening uh yeah he's not really freezing man i don't know i don't know anyway fourth city and fifth city coming out sixth city also coming out from aberdeen uh we're gonna see uh, more population getting uh, acquired over here he does have uh, good chops uh, in multiple cities and well uh, we do need to see how this is gonna go now i gotta say i'm not against going governor liang my main question is why go governor liang first like you can get uh, Magnus or Moksha or even Pingala in some cases uh, and then go Liang. The, the only thing is it's quite expensive to go Liang, quite expensive to go Liang. You don't get the benefits of extra production, extra food for the traders. You don't get the benefits for the chops, for example. And he had a lot of chops to work here. And, and anyway. Now, uh, looking at um, uh, Pet Passion Boys uh, Golden Age Abraham Lincoln, he's on four series. He actually put that city uh, to the north of uh, Buffalo. And I do see commercials coming out uh, of his uh, series to get that um, extra gold uh, get in his economy. 20 gold at 10, 16 science with 22 culture. He did uh, get his uh, fifth city to the west side somewhere. And I'm a bit surprised he didn't actually uh, settle on the stone tile to the northwest of Washington. And he's prioritizing to actually settle somewhere non-fresh uh, towards the city of Kabul. Uh, we do have uh, some horses also coming around from his empire. He probably did notice that uh, Korea City Strength did jump up to 28 and he has horses of his own. While Grossbill is not going to sit around and is actually going to get some settlers in the south. Now we're going to need to see how close uh, these uh, units are going to get. And of course if they're going to actually uh, bump against each other at an early stage of the game. We do have uh, Governor Magnus in the city of Washington allowing him to get uh, the 50% uh, towards uh, these um, let me put it up on the screen over here. Uh, you do get the 50% yields from pot harvest and feature removies, uh, removals into whatever you want when you do actually get the chops in. Uh, so it's um, it's actually giving you a lot of return if you have a lot of these um, tiles to chop and you do prioritize that um, uh, from the beginning. 
I'd also notice uh, with the markets he's gonna start to acquire the merchants. Inca is still very far ahead of everybody else with um, 9.2 points a turn. He's uh, two turns away from actually recruiting Zankian, which is gonna give him an extra trade route capacity. He also picked up the first one, Marcus Licinius Crassus, and I'm pretty sure he keeps on uh, building up those... Um, uh, merchants. We do have IPO with 8 science and 23 culture, minus 3 gold a turn unfortunately and only 30 faith a turn. Uh, we do have him on getting campuses and establishing Pingala in the city of Calcutta. He is using his government plots up to increase the adjacency of uh, 3 of his uh, districts at the moment, 2 of the holy sites and uh, this campus over here in Calcutta that's gonna turn into a plus 2. Okay, uh, traders coming out from Hyderabad, audience chamber in Padna and of course uh, Delhi did get settled in the north uh, on the Dead Sea. Yeah, where he's gonna get a much better holy site, a plus of four next to the Dead Sea tiles. Yeah, also Buffly Yang. No, 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 please don't buff Liang. No, no, we've seen what buffing Liang means. Please don't buff Liang. No, come back. Come back to the light, Miss Electra. Come back. Don't leave us. I'll hold your hand. Uh, also, good evening, sir. Uh, Big Z, yeah, Magnus first makes more, uh, more sense to chop out your units early to uh, defend. I mean, you can chop anything, not only units, it really like chop chop anything. Uh, but anyway, he did go holy side. Uh, he did get uh, the city parks fast. Uh, and as you can see over here, see, we is uh, let's see, actually see if he's gonna get the benefits. Uh, he does have plus three uh, in the capital city over there, and he's gonna start uh, puddle jumping uh, Liang across his territory while he's gonna need to uh, get uh, new governors in those cities in particular. Uh, going for uh, Morty, 9 science, 22 culture. We do have him 48 production. Uh, this is, um, well, uh, I do have to point out, see, we over here. Uh, uh, guys, maybe he's, uh, maybe he's going to be right. Let's actually, you know, give him the benefit of the doubt over here. And let's look at the numbers. Uh, we need to look at his, well, stats, I don't think it's going to be that, um, uh, as in uh, culture and uh, science, is probably not going to be that, um, um, okay to compare with other nations but production that might be something let's look at all three and we're going to need to see how this uh, how things evolve even with the city park so right now he's a 39 production with 22 science and 23 culture okay uh so let's see morty uh, minus in uh, the city of uh, uh, Cusco, he's uh, he got the uh, four cities he did manage to get the uh, zankian over here and he's uh, gonna activate it soon he did also start to build up his uh, terrace farms uh, next to the city of antavailas uh, and uh, working uh, marcus Licinius uh, crassus uh, to allow him to uh, buy out the third ring tile over here very nice with uh, for a plus four campus very nice very nice i do see him um, also benefiting from that uh, pen brush and voice from all of these uh, commerce and at the moment i do see he did uh, put an, in antavaila uh, governor moksha for the extra culture now he's gonna need to get at some point the pingala and i'm actually quite curious where is he gonna put there's a plus three uh, possible uh, campus over here next to the mountains uh, next to the city of sousa sousa and he does have pantanal i didn't see this earlier he does have pantanal to the southeast Ooh, actually maybe work pantanal tiles plus plus morty morty Anyway, uh, we do have uh, Mind Blow with uh, 20 science and 27 culture. He's on, uh, let me actually see his production, 54 production, uh, Pen Passion Voice Golden Age, 5 series, and he's the one, I guess we can compare these two, right? We can compare the two neighbors and their uh, different openings. We do have uh, Moksha still. I think Mind Blow would have been a little bit uh, better with uh, Liang in the capital and uh, going for um, Moksha somewhere else. Uh, but anyway, it's fine. It's fine like, like he did. I guess see he thought it's uh, enough production he has enough production and uh, we do have him also with um, a few builders coming out of his series lady of the reserve marsh is giving him uh, that extra production across his uh, floodable terrain then i do see him uh, choosing pingala in the city of thieves no liang yet he just wants stats man he wants stats he's sending some of these horses also to the north of dandy and at the moment um and there's not much uh, defending that city center, but uh, Scotland is uh, gonna get a few horses to defend himself over here while he's uh, working on uh, getting these um, city parks going between his cities with the golf courses. I see also golf courses uh, getting put down. He's trying to get uh, his uh, happiness level to a plus six, which I think it's very far away. Mm, but anyway, uh, he, he doesn't have a lot of uh, amenities worked. 
like uh, these mercury tiles uh, gypsum tiles okay that's two amenities that's it that that that's it like wh what's his third amenity does he even have a third amenity here no oh my god he needs to go settle the marble to the south oh he's settling the tea that's a third amenity over here maybe uh, he's probably gonna ask his uh, teammates over there guys i need your amenity support in my nation my uh, uh, my people are very frustrated they don't have a lot of things we need to give them marble for some amazing buildings we need to give them marble for their nice baths over there we need to give them some mercury so they can discover a lot of good things and uh, get to measure their temperature and stuff like that um we uh oh 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 i mean maybe settle okay there we go he's gonna he's gonna settle it's fine um buff reina kick w man uh also buff ibrahim preserve time uh <laughs> does he have city parks already triple yang opening yes he did go for the triple yang opening going for moksha now in the city of sterling uh 47 production while mind blow is on 60. I know we, we still have that uh, different uh, difference of a boost between them and well we're going to need to see we're going to need to see um we do have a gross bill with 24 science and uh, 21 culture on uh, Sejong. Sejong did get the uh, six cities out and I do see he's uh, getting his government plaza in the city of Seoul. Seoul. Uh, we do have uh, settlers, a uh, seventh settler coming up here from Chanchon and uh, I do see uh, Jinju did get uh, settled across the river. I do not agree with this. I mean, you either put it coastal, so you deny your opponent some coast over there, but uh, I don't think uh, putting it in floodable terrain across the river, it's a good thing towards your opponent. <laughs> just because of the difference uh, so th th there will be a point when america is very likely to attack into the city of jinju and uh, when that happens uh, he's gonna have less strength on the city of jinju than normally that's uh unfortunate but it is what it is maybe Grossbill is gonna find a way to uh, try to balance that out in some fo other way for more uh uh, mechanic well we'll see now uh, we do have uh, him uh, getting a few sounds over here looks like he did put the city of uh, gongju uh, in the tundra or next to the tundra over there unfortunately he didn't actually quite spend the gold uh, to acquire the tiles and uh, i do see they still have uh, they have gold problems on both teams don't get me wrong They're like both teams are in very very bad shape when it comes to the gold per turn we do have like 27 1 and 11 uh, coming up on one side with minus nine minus nine how did you get minus nine gold minus ten ipo where is your economic power oh no what is, is he not working the minus one card he's not working the minus one card is he no he's working maneuver 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 okay it is what it is man it is what it is you, you gotta do what you gotta do play your cards and uh, hope it's fine you know but it, at some point it might not be that fine uh, have you ever seen reina getting picked first no uh varus plus shrines uh, yeah is uh, yeah but uh, i mean usually you do see the players uh, using the minus one card or something to actually uh, stabilize their economy uh, that's only gonna give him like from plus from minus 11 to like what uh seven minus seven i mean one two three four units yeah anyway now we do have uh, scottish horses appearing uh, to defend the city of dandy i do see uh, the builder is uh, starting to move over there uh, towards that city center or maybe we're gonna see it uh, start to improve some of his strategic resources especially horses wink wink he does need them now we do have uh, the egyptian horse meeting next to a scottish horse and going to a bar trying to figure out how they're gonna get the best barbecue of these cattle tiles or the deer tiles what are they gonna choose cattle or deer cattle or deer what are you gonna choose stream chat 
Now we do uh, also need to see how Mindblow is going to try to use the chops in his uh, city center, uh, Rakedet. I do see he's getting some more traders going. And uh, we're going to need to take a look how he's uh, also developing his um, uh, production capabilities. Still on 59 with 23 science and 30 culture. Uh, Sewi is, uh, Sewi is on, on uh, 23 and 28, but only 44 production. Uh, we will probably going to see uh, more traders uh, coming around from Egypt soon. Not only that one, but also finishing up his merchant uh, commercials and uh, getting some uh, markets in is gonna uh, give him uh, some options uh let's see oh oh oh, oh. inca inca got this one inca got coleus then burika got recruited by india and then we do have in the merchant screen actually uh, inca making 10.3 great merchant points a turn scotland is on two we got america on two egypt on two uh well korea on one and the next one is not really great for but it's going to be good actually for scotland if he gets an extra governor point it was expensive for him to go for liang i don't think it will matter uh, it, it is that um I would say uh, that much of a priority though. Uh, I do see Egypt making 2.3 great general points at end. He's probably working the card and he's doing uh, well. I guess if he does have an upper card sword, why not use it? Uh, Strategos uh, coming up over here in his um, government, uh, getting his uh, plus two great general points per turn. He's uh, also working colonization and illicum for the settlers and builder discount. Let's actually take a look uh, also. Oh, getting more science soon from Pingala. He did um, get to fourth pop over there but they didn't actually place down a campus yet yet uh the city of Nekan, man, this is a very nice city getting the marble tiles does he have his people happy no he's actually receiving a penalty in production and uh, across the board over here in the city of racket because of the you know, unhappiness of his citizens we do have uh, him also putting pressure on uh, Siwi. Very nice, very nice. It's going to be hard for Siwi to get uh, everything going over here. And I do see he keeps on uh, getting these uh, going. What, what, what is this Buddhism? Where did he get that one? Oh my god, wait. India can actually go for the... Uh... Oh no, he can't. Wait, can you get Pilgrimage and Crusade at the same time? I, To be honest, I never knew this. Can you, can you get uh, Pilgrimage and Crusade at the same time? I know there's a limit and I, I have no idea. You can? Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be bad, guys. Scotland is gonna get crusaded. Come on! IPO, this is your chance. Build the Mahaburita. Oh, get Stonehenge, bro. Oh my god. Can he can he can build Stonehenge, man? He can get Stonehenge in Calcutta and get that crusade in. Uh, enhancer, but if not a follower, thank you. Also, uh, Ferno, good evening, sir. Uh, Georgia can't deny you get PayPal. Yeah, uh, well, I guess Russia can deny. Uh, Russia can deny. It is what it is, man. It doesn't look like it's happening, though. Uh, anyway, we do have uh, Russia trying to go for the culture here. Uh, getting those uh, theater squares as quickly as possible. We do have him uh, getting Apadana, Novgorod going for Oracle in eight turns. And uh, getting um, also his uh, Pingala in. He definitely needs more science with that culture. 12 science at 10 with 34. I mean, you know, on a hot dog, you need to mix them in, you know. Get some mayonnaise. Get some mustard get some ketchup you need everything right in this case mayonnaise is actually the gold we do have mustard as the uh, what is it science and then culture is the ketchup you know you, you need to mix everything in now uh, maybe uh yeah the actual question is who is defending culture uh that's a good question i mean i don't know maybe mind blow <laughs> i guess he's gonna get some uh, passive culture going from his uh uh, unique uh, improvement on the Sphinx. He didn't put that many though. Definitely needs to put another one here. I don't know why he's not doing it. Uh, anyway, he's getting uh, more series at the moment and uh, I do see him uh, really, really excited to get his uh, extra traders going. Not only for the go Oh, wait. I saw Stonehenge somewhere. Where, where was Stonehenge placed now? Who, who, who's getting Stonehenge, guys? Who's getting Stonehenge? Is it here? I clicked, I'm sorry, I clicked on the button very quickly. I didn't see it. Who's getting Stonehenge? No, not here. Here? No. Is it here? No. No. Is it Tamar? No. It's getting uh, pyramids though. Oh my god. Well, somebody's going Stonehenge and we don't know whom. 
that's a bit of a pickle for us it is what it is a very big juicy pickle mm. anyway Yerevan is going to be taken over IPO is going to definitely smash through that uh, series defense next turn with the two Varus he has uh, there's a third one also over there for him to use as well he's uh, going to uh, get to uh, get closer to Egypt and at some point he's going to send those traders to Egypt still on minus 14 gold unfortunately that's a lot of gold that uh, they're not going to benefit from uh, we uh, do notice in the eels tab uh, we do have uh, Simui on 15 we got Sirius on 28 then uh, Dart with 4 and uh, Vadia with 7 but then we do have on the other side uh, Mindblow and Morty making uh, 16 and 29 Grospilo on 11 so they're, they're stabilizing IPO somehow I, see, I still didn't see where it's that is he getting uh, is it is it actually scotland going for uh stonehenge i hope not that's extremely expensive i mean it might make it worth but from the extra amenity but it's extremely expensive maybe maybe it was just me man maybe it was just me i i started seeing things i didn't see it now uh, russia culture victory uh yeah check egypt 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 no, I don't see it. I don't see it. No. Anyway, no, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. I really hope actually India is going to... Oh my God, he's chopping the stone tiles. Those beautiful tiles. Anyway, he's chopping the stone. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, temples coming around from India as well as uh, more Varus and I do see him uh, getting the campuses uh, remember he's getting uh, his value worth from uh, initiation rights if he does manage to get more units out on the field and we're going to need to see how many of those uh, is he actually going to muster uh, to go against his opponent he's also settling another city to the southeast the two four he's going to be on seven cities really quickly today uh, in this turn he's going to get the Erevan uh, spectator mode breaks the search function yes it does not work unfortunately it does not work so we're uh, left uh, trying to finger find these uh, wonders it is what it is man we need to uh, take a look at all of the tiles all of the tiles and uh, i gotta say sometimes they don't even show up in the production queues they and the players uh, put them down and then just switch go for something else we do have cover on plots have been placed from st petersburg on that uh, iron tile in the north uh, giving the extra adjacency towards his um, theater squares now um, of course we did um, have quite a few discussions in um, the previous weeks because of uh, how much culture was buffed especially the early tourism that you do manage to acquire with the great uh, writers with the great artists and so on not to mention a lot of other things uh they did uh, tone it down from the initial um uh, buff that was across the board from the beginning of the game to uh, delaying the extra culture uh, the extra tourism you require through the writers and the artists uh, to different texts and technologies which at some point does make sense and uh, we're going to need to see if um, uh, this is going to matter quite a bit in this game especially uh, since uh, well at the beginning uh, starting to acquire tourism at the beginning of the game does allow you to actually acquire those uh, tourists uh, uh, from your opponents uh, much much faster and uh, might actually give you an advantage uh, later on in the game uh, we've uh, started to see also turn uh, 90 ish victories like uh, between 85 and uh, 95 which uh, the players are considering at the moment and uh, i did also notice that there is a decent discussion when it comes to uh, bbg council about this uh, thinking this is a bit too um, uh, too early uh, uh, Give me a second. Just sending a message quickly. Uh, is, uh, F -F -F -A, for example, is not playing anymore with uh, this tourism buff. Wait, really? It's not playable. It did break the game. Oh no. Oh, that that's bad. That is bad. So I hope uh, actually BBG is gonna fix it soon because that sounds really bad. 
uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, please tell me that they tuned down the tourism because it's way too much. Yeah, there's a lot of discussions going around this. And uh, from what I've seen, uh, there are a lot of worries being shared about uh, what's happening in FFA. And they, they are aware. They are aware. Uh, unfortunately, well, yeah. I'm actually Pikachu faced why they didn't actually realize this beforehand but anyway it is what it is uh, you live and you learn uh, Mahabodhi temple coming up from Calcutta in uh, nine turns uh, and of course that's going to allow uh, India to actually get the extra two beliefs he needs uh, looking at uh, what's going on over here on Inga's territory we do have him uh, actually getting some pentanal tiles or I should say one pentanal tile in the city of Sousa uh, I do also see he's uh, getting his sixth city to the north uh, when I'm a bit surprised about his uh, city count I would have expected a few more cities but I guess it's fine to Four, five, uh, wait, two, four, five, just five cities? Oh, I thought he has six. He's getting his six city from Olatan Taibo soon, I guess. And we're going to need to see where he's going to settle it. He does have a decent amount of land to settle to the east, to the north. Uh, it's just going to take him a little bit of time to get there. He also got pillaged by uh, Russia's uh, scout and by Lucevet. Um, He's the one that's going to get the next merchant or uh, he wants to pass it. I think actually, to be honest, I think he should pass it. It's not that important to get that one. And otherwise, if you do get uh, to discover uh, Yves Fadlan or um, uh, Marco Polo, you're just going to be um, forced to actually get some uh, defenses going. Anyway, uh, we did have a bit of a skirmish over here between the Egyptian uh, units and the Scottish units uh, trying to uh, force a reaction here from Scotland. He did uh, get uh, to see some horses come uh, out on the battlefield and by Lucifer. Uh, Scotland is still going ahead and trying to get as many city parks as possible. Uh, now did manage to get to 68 uh, production and I do see him uh, jumping up in stats uh, decently over Mindblow and uh, Mindblow stopped at 70. Now we do have uh, Mindblow actually getting Oracle here in Rocket Death in three turns and I did also notice uh, Oracle being built over here in the south but uh, it might actually get chopped. To be honest, there's a builder with a charge and it might get chopped. It's four turns away from finishing. If it allows that to... Um, Hard finish, it's, uh, well, it's not gonna finish. So I'm pretty sure uh, Dart over here. Oh, no. Okay, he's, he's not chopping. He not chopping. And we might see uh, Mind Blow chop. This is a tile, let's see. It does have the builder ready next turn. And this is from Rocket Dead. That's a 1-3 uh, forest that he's gonna get to chop. He might get it. He might get it. Uh, well, Yerevan did get taken over by India. Now he's sending his uh, Varus to the south. Um, these Varus do apply a minus 5 uh, penalty to the units around them. And as you can see, they do uh, quite a bit of damage against the archers. And they don't take that much in return, especially if they are around the generals. Uh, now, um, uh, the horses are a different thing, especially if they do benefit from ideal terrain, uh, the forest and um, fortify, not to mention if they are uh, behind the rivers. And as you can see over here, Scotland did uh, want to place his cities uh, to have rivers uh, for him to benefit from. Now we do have uh, IPO also managing to get a military engineer now to work for him. He recruited Boudicca as a general, activated it uh, for the ability. And now, uh, as you can see, he's starting to build uh, pathways uh, towards his opponent. We're going to need to see if he's uh, gonna keep on uh, banging on the doorstep of uh, Scotland to force him uh, to get uh, good over there and use his uh, abilities. Oh, he chopped it! He chopped it! It's one turn in like and dead, two turns in Novgorod. Dart is oh my god, he gonna lose Oracle. Like we've seen Oracle being built for quite a bit of time. It is what it is. Uh, Dart in the meantime did um, uh, start building Apadana in the city of St. Petersburg for quite some time now. And I do also notice he did manage to expand uh, quite a bit here with two, four, six cities at the moment. He has his seventh one going somewhere. He might actually put it to the northwest. He could start uh, trading coastally with uh, Scotland, which is going to be good for their economy. Uh, definitely need to uh, stabilize a little bit more. I can't believe we got minus 25 gold at 10 on IBO like this is this is negative economy guys we're getting lessons in negative economy here how can this be how can this be 
Anyway, you know, we do have uh, more temples coming around from him, and uh, by the looks of it, he's uh, repositioning his uh, Varus slowly, slowly through the forest and the rainforest, through the hills, sending them to the south over there. That's a long journey for all of these units to get there, and I, I still don't know where Stonehenge is, by the way. I, I kept on searching for it. I, I have no idea where it is. Now, maybe my mind just said Stonehenge and at some point, and I, I just didn't register properly. Anyway, we do have uh, Hanging Gardens coming up in Tbilisi in two turns, and... Um, uh, since we're uh, getting the red numbers over here uh, to the south of and to the well to the bottom of this um, end turn button we do have uh, to take a look in eight turns what's going to happen with uh, the era square and uh, who is going to manage to get those uh, era square points uh, towards their golden ages uh, looking at what's going on over here we do have america also starting to get two four six eight cities uh, he's also working on his aqueducts and i'm pretty sure he's going to start chopping everything he has in his land now uh, this is the moment that the players are starting to get their feudalism bonuses going for their uh, builders so they do benefit from the extra to charges and uh, they did manage to pump out quite a few of them out of their cities uh, so they can uh, quickly quickly um and get the chops in and reap the benefits of that uh, fast pro production uh, looking at the yield stab i do have to point out that uh, the moment uh, sirius um, on uh, lincoln is on 20 science with 40 culture we do have next to him grossbill with 60 and 31 while i do see a uh, grossbill is starting to uh, get a few archers going this does mean of course is one thing some uh, pre-builds for those hawachas uh, we do have grossbill going for engineering in water with civil service coming up in four while um he did manage to put another city over here in Yangsan uh, on the eastern coast. Uh, this is very surprising to me that nobody actually wanted to get giant causeway over there. I understand it's not that big of a wonder, but oh, I guess, okay, the American units do benefit. So can you imagine, guys, American free units with the extra plus five or general and in the giant causeways? We had a few bonuses on them. I approve this message. <laughs> we got uh, Victor established in uh, Jinju and uh, establishing in Jinju and we do need to see if uh, Grossbill is going to manage to get to his 7th uh, population level in the city of Seoul so he can place his um, next uh, districts. I'm a bit concerned uh, still about their economy and uh, their abilities to actually upgrade units over here. Uh, we do see across the board the kind of uh, uh, clo uh, close close numbers when it comes to production uh, still uh, mindblow did manage to get uh, more production going uh, for, uh, than scotland and it looks like he did win the race on oracle uh, rocket that is um, getting a theater square in uh, three turns and i believe it's here uh, for plus four theater square uh, he does have some uh, campuses coming up from Neken, and he's gonna try to make up um, more economy with uh, his commercials uh, we do have uh, some initial trade routes uh, being sent over here to the east side giving him uh, 32 gold Morty is on 35 as well uh, the first uh, varus are also getting in range of the scottish units uh zabijak 011 hello there sir what are their governments uh, we got dart in uh, classical republic vadia queen is in uh, classical republic sewi classical republic uh sirius uh, is on uh, classical republic so across the board actually they're getting those amenities going we got ipo on the classical republic morty classical republic mind blow classical republic and grossbill classical republic all eight players at this point in time 10 49 of the game are actually in classical republic we do have uh, scotland putting down uh, one of these um, encampments next to that city center and it looks like uh, he's gonna get an encampment training project in two turns while egypt did probably recruit yes he did get the first general he's also using some of his uh, mariano chair touches to put some more pressure on scotland while i do see him uh, getting some encampments here uh, finishing up or trying to do uh, multiple things in, at once uh, he's still on two four six cities would have loved to see another city here on the stone tower to the southwest of uh, Neken. while i do see uh, Georgia is getting a city in the face of uh, Scotland also. Uh, there is a possibility also for Scotland to uh, settle a city to the east of uh, Poti on the same uh, lake. They could uh, try to uh, get some coastal trade routes going. I also want to point out, um, in, well, in the meantime, Georgia has tried to, to get as big as possible with two, four, six, seven cities at the moment. He has his eighth uh, on the way and his ninth is getting his uh, getting trained over here in the city of Taisi. He did finish, um, no, actually, yeah, he did finish pyramids in the city of uh, Tsikin Valley, uh, which uh, gives him a builder of over here uh, with uh, extra charges i don't see him actually benefiting at the moment from uh, feudalism bonuses why 
My, I mean, why? Oh, it's only on the 25 cents and 30 conscious. So he went wide, wider than usual, and he couldn't actually manage to get to uh, feudalism at this point. Well, we're going to need to see if he's going to hit his golden age. Yes, he did. No problems there. 65, 62. You know, we do have him with a possible pen brushing voice in the next one. And we do need to see um, when he's going to actually start using his abilities, you know, to buy out those uh, libraries. Yeah. It is what it is. Anyway, now uh, we do have across the board actually. Let's see. Uh, Dart is uh, one point away from getting his uh, golden, and it's fine. He's, he could get a boat quite easily, or uh, could improve uh, at least a horse or something, and he's gonna uh, could get a horse, and bam, he got that point. Uh, Varia Queen uh, get, got over it. Siwi is uh, 42 out of uh, 51. He needs nine points to go. He's probably gonna get the general here, so that's gonna be eight points to go, and we do need to see if uh, he's gonna get stronger units to defend against uh, Egypt. And at the same time, IPO uh, from the north, uh, we do have those photos uh, starting to get a little bit uh, bigger over here. Anyway, now we do have uh, Sirius on uh, 3740 with Lincoln. Oh my guys. Okay, I, I gotta say. Dark Age. Plus 5 from 3 units. Muskets. Giant Causeway. General. That's like, like what plus 18 on these units. That might be more than enough to take out Korea. Uh oh. Well, he's going for men at arms. Military tactics coming up in six. We got divine right coming up for him in four. Oh no. If he discovers divine right, that's gonna be it. He's not gonna get the dark age. You can't do that. Serious man. Be serious, my friend. You can't... Oh my god, he's going... He's trying to get golden. Okay, so that's not the play. That's not his play right now. He doesn't want to push then. Okay, okay, we got that. Now we do have uh, some of them actually getting to pass this. Inca did pass the first. We got America actually uh, getting some projects to try to get the next wave of um, uh, merchants. And uh, as you can see over here... Oh, they just got him. Wow. Okay, never mind. So, Irene got taken over by uh, Egypt and Marco Polo got taken by Inca. He snatched it. He got it. Okay, it is. It's good. It's good. Uh, in the scientist screen, I think uh, we did have. We don't have Hypatia yet. What? We hit the guard of Bengen before Hypatia. What is. Oh, we do. We do. Never mind. Uh, for some reason, I. You know, I was blind. Hypatia over here coming up with the libraries. Oh my god, guys. Guys, I totally forgot to. Um, yeah, I'll give you a story. I woke up this morning and I was like, you know, you know how it is in the morning. You don't actually see. Uh, in, it takes a while until you actually get to focus. It takes a while until you wake up. Your body is starting to work and so on. And um, uh, I blamed my eyesight on um, it was too early. Uh, or it, I just woke up, right? Uh, an hour later... I still couldn't see and I was like, oh my god, what's going on, man? Do I need to like go to like change my lenses or, or stuff, do something? Uh, and uh, I was like working on the website, doing the graphics and I was like trying to see what's going on over there, trying to make uh, some sense of uh, what I was writing and, uh, you know, uh, getting the correct times and everything. Uh, I'm sorry if there's going to be any mistakes, but I did it in that uh, scenario. And then I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to take my uh, uh, lens out of my eye and I'm going to put it in uh, that thing over there. Let the eye uh, recover a little bit, uh, get some uh, whatever it is. Um, uh, hu humidity on the lens and uh, hydration, whatever it is. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to put it back in. I spent like five or ten minutes to figure out if I actually had the lens in my eye and I was trying to take it out of my eye and I didn't realize until, you know, uh, I would say, uh, um, I, after a few like tries, three, four tries, that I didn't actually have the lens. <laughs> it fell off while i was sleeping oh no and i was like what is going on i, I went in my bed found the lens <laughs> it was fine oh my god first time this is happening man there's a first time for everything i guess it is what it is yeah anyway uh after i put the lens in i was fine i, I could actually see again Woo! 
Anyway, we do have uh, Colosseum started up from uh, Cusco, uh, five turns away from finishing. Looks like, of course, with uh, Governor Magnus and a few chops over here, uh, Morty might get it faster. Uh, we do have uh, in first industrial zones also coming up from Antavila. I'm a bit surprised we don't actually see aqueducts over here. Uh, definitely would have made sense uh, to put uh, aqueducts in some placements. For example, just instead of this uh, terrace farm, he would have just put an um, aqueduct and uh, got more benefits from uh, the terrace farm's uh, production. Uh, why no glasses? Uh, hello there, sir. Uh, happens more important. You think? Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. I figured out what was wrong. <laughs> it took me a while, man. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> my eye was just so red because I, I, I want to say, uh, uh, I played with it so long. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, why no glasses? I feel much better with uh, the lenses. I gotta say, much better. Like, it's freedom! You know, like, uh, it's, you know, it's amazing. I still have the glasses, don't get me wrong. I still have them right here. Like, if anything goes wrong with uh, the lenses, I just have the, the glasses as a th second thing. But I feel like, I, I don't know, man. I, I, uh, I can't see, you, you can imagine, there's like double... Oh my god, I you know what? I see in like zoom. <laughs> this is like zoom, bro. Oh my god. But anyway, it is what it is. I, I got them right here. If uh, there's uh, an emergency, I get to use these. Now we do have uh, the first uh, attacks coming up from uh, the battles of um, yeah, India going against uh, Scotland. And it looks like uh, we do have the great general also helping him out a little bit. Uh, we did have also... Uh oh, let's go. Boris. Come on. India, 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 India. Crusade, 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 crusade. Is it happening? Uh, I, f I find the tough putting something into my disturbing i like my glasses i thought the same don't don't get me wrong i think i think the same like i find it tough also and it, it takes a while to actually get used to um but i'm still um like every month i just go to uh the, the store where i bought the glasses and the lenses and they just do it for me i like only in emergency i'm actually doing it myself only in emergency and it's fine it, it's just like it, it takes like a whole five minutes or something not even five minutes crusade Woo! we got crusade oh sniped it and i gotta say this uh, ability with uh, spread, uh the religion spread oh, look, look how far his religion spread into his opponent series man he's about to totally convert the nation of scotland to crusade without anything any help over here that's amazing and we do have um a more a bit a more uh, faith uh, generated by him he's on 106 faith 60 science and 66 uh, culture unfortunately the economy is not there with minus 29 gold uh, it looks like his allies are trying to um uh, counter this uh, we do have uh, again actually this time we have more production uh, coming up on escape puzzle and i gotta say the economy does look like uh, it, it's much better especially since shantra gupta is losing gold over there that's a problem uh, we might actually see reina getting established in the city of yerevan on the west side so he can uh, actually get some uh, gold in from the trade routes coming from his ally here from um, uh, egypt and I do see the first uh, traders are being sent to Egypt as well, or uh, that capital city. That capital does benef benefit from commercial, I think so, right? Uh, 12 type passes spread, now it's a lot. Yes, yes, this is this is a lot. It's going to take a while to actually, um, I want to say, yeah, get used to this, because Crusade is now a very big option. It's, uh, I think it's a bit uh, too much, but I guess we'll see. And imagine this is passive spread without the strength. If they added the strength, this would have been much worse. Much worse. Like 50% uh, increase in spread. <laughs> spread strength, I mean. That would have been very big. Very big. Anyway, uh, we do have uh, to take a look at the era scroll and how it evolves since we are two turns away from uh, getting the golden age over here. We do have IPO getting the golden age, Morty getting the golden age, Mind Blow getting the golden age, Gross Bill not getting the golden age. He's actually six points away. I do also notice he's uh, building up an army over here to go against his opponent with Gunpowder. 
coming up in three turns and divine right in one he does need to get going <laughs> let's actually see what what is this how much is this is this a plus four that is a plus five actually so he's gonna get a splendid bonus and then he's gonna get the uh, monarchy next turn it should be fine he's uh, he's up there now we do have uh serious uh getting his golden age see we is uh seven points out from getting a golden and of course robert the bruce over here definitely needs it he's getting attacked he's getting bullied over here by two of his opponents definitely needs it man um i also want to point out the um crusade ability does only activate if you're in your opponent's borders uh, that uh, have cities converted to your religion it does not work if you're outside of the uh, the tiles so that's a bit unfortunate anyway i'm pretty sure these varus uh, can just walk in and stomp uh, his opponents if need be and we do have a seaway on the 74 signs with 81 culture and by the looks of it uh, he's putting more units on the east side we're probably gonna see him uh, discover castle soon so he gets uh, the upgrade button on the horses towards coursers and we do see him uh, trying to make as many of these uh, city parks and as many of these golf courses as possible to get those amenities and we do have the kuskunian capagnans coming up over here here for morty he did put the so why did he put them everywhere what, what, what is this everywhere anyway we do have um, him getting those uh, nice amenities uh, throughout his uh, territory over here getting him uh, two happy citizens bonus a uh, plus threes and i do see him uh, with a uh, two four uh, six cities uh, this time he did put the uh, chan chan to the south over here uh okay okay I still don't know what uh, that Stonehenge is. Did I did I get mixed up? Did I did I not see Stonehenge, or did I actually somebody build it? Anyway, uh, I do also want to point out what's are gonna come out from India's um, uh, Bill Hughes, and we're probably gonna see them uh, getting that extra science in for India. He's getting Grandmaster Chapel coming up in three turns from Padna, and um, gonna get the ability to finish those. Um, units with faith. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Crusader elephants. Now I want a UU for Gandhi that is an elephant that can launch nukes. Oh, can you imagine actually a, a mini nuke? You know, like one of those tiny nukes. Tiny, tiny nukes. Tactical nukes, uh, as they call it. You know, just put on the back of elephants and. <laughs> or even like uh, thrown from their trunks, you know, like try to uh, get the trunks in. You, you get the trunk in and. <laughs> shoot tactical trunk shooting uh dropping elephant nukes from the sky whoa yeah anyway i think this is uh, the thing that's happening over here uh, looks like america did actually uh, foil the plan of korea he found out about it and korea definitely doesn't want to um, uh, lose his pre-builds it looks like uh, we don't have that many hard units uh, to defend against an american attack and jinju is in trouble i gotta say if uh, many times get in there that's gonna be a problem we do have uh, also america with an ability to attack into the city center of jinju which is only 33 defense strength um which is gonna take a while to actually get a stronger unit like that knight now uh, and it does uh, look like serious man might do this let's see serious be serious man if he, if he gets here can he get here two turns to get them eh. oh oh never mind how watcha how watcha that's too late that is too late now we will have a pause in one minute for two minutes and uh, we're gonna need to wait for them to actually get through the congress to see exactly what's going on uh, in the era square screen we did have uh, golden golden normal age golden 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 okay so seven players out of uh, eight did manage to get their golden ages so only scotland did not manage to get there now uh, we do have uh, scotland getting pushed from two sides so that's not really surprising now uh, we do need to see if uh, tamar is actually going to get the attention of egypt it does look like for a little while he's getting it and uh, we do need to see if uh, egypt is going to manage to uh, get more cities over here and uh, get bigger stronger faster I do see uh, in Scotland did manage to get over the science level of mind blow and I do see he's uh, getting more culture he does have a little bit more production uh, but he didn't actually uh, start building any new settlers so it's not that surprising to me that it, this is happening we do have a wave of settlers coming up over here from Egypt uh, from uh, three cities
Uh, why Egypt is not settling more? Uh, that, yeah, yeah. That is a legit question. He definitely needed to settle more. He definitely needed to settle more. I am still curious about that Liang in the capital thing thing. But anyway, we got two minutes over here and uh, we're gonna get to uh, watch the conclusion afterwards. Uh, let me actually vote. Uh, no, grab back. Let's say this. <laughs> At underscore XL just followed. Oh, there's a break also oh my god okay i'm sorry about this i guess it's gonna be five minutes more um let me actually put a timer on and uh, let's see five break five minutes okay let's do five minutes also ad adxl thank you so much for the follow sir and welcome
guys i guess we can talk a little bit about uh, with uh, the pause on uh, did you guys see guardians of the galaxy 3 it's out now did you see it did you see it did anybody see it nobody oh what okay not yet okay okay went on the first day okay i just wanted to start using an expression from uh, guardians of the galaxy 3 but i'm not sure if you're gonna get it i, I guess i'm just gonna explain it oh yeah yeah but i mean on streaming because i'm mean, honestly as much as i want to go to the cinema man it's just such a bad experience every time i go to the cinema it's unbelievable like i would oh man i would even like take pictures from there to uh, show you the experience that it is <laughs> as in they have they have good um good seats they have good uh, uh, sound they have good picture the whole experience other than that is very bad very bad like sound extra sounds in the room um people talking uh, you get like you get distracted you you, you get uh, sounds of forks and knives uh, bro it's it's just bad it's just bad yeah uh, cool two films to look forward to oh okay okay so does anybody mind if i call the chup chup uh, allies I'm gonna call I'm gonna start calling I'm gonna start using that man chup chup I like the cinemas in Germany but they got expensive oh, okay I mean they're, they're not that expensive like for the uh, in Romania at least they're not very expensive it's like I don't know normal one is like ten dollars or something like that uh, per movie or I, let me actually check the price I, I haven't been there for some time now and I know uh, Hey, give me a second just takes me a, a second over here to uh, turn off everything and turn off uh, this uh, timer um let me see and then okay except this let me see a movie the meg 2 whatever I, I guess this shouldn't be that yeah let's buy things so it's a uh, normal cinema is ten dollars premium spot ten dollars the normal spot is actually premium spot is like a better seat like a better uh, actual seat you know better actually seat. uh the uh, the normal one is like eight and at uh if you want to go vip is like 30 and you get like free food and uh, drinks and it's a smaller room or like only like maybe 20 people or something like that But the, they made the worst thing possible, man. They allowed uh, something like a Swedish style breakfast. You know, the Swedish breakfast, you know, go and the, um, they have like a lot of uh, things uh, available for you and you can take whatever you need, uh, you want from there. Basically like that, but for like a dinner and uh, just mixing mixing that with movies just doesn't make us a good formula it, it's so annoying anyway uh, uh, let me take off my um, bad rant over here and come back to the game we do have uh, the game on pause and we're going to need to see how uh, this works so we do have uh, faith 100 percent uh, towards the no okay 100 percent of the cost until the next congress um we do have 100 percent production towards your buildings in uh, this district uh, industrial zones interesting we do have also uh chandra gupta gaining two diplo victory points he already got two from mahabori temple so of course uh, he does have a chance to build also also, a Statue of Liberty to the north of Yerevan. He's going to need a lot more culture than this. Uh, looking at the culture screen, at the moment, we don't have any tourists acquired. And by the looks of it, in the tourism screen, we do have a Peter on 41 tourism. And then uh, it doesn't look like anybody else is making that much tourism otherwise. Now, uh, here is 20 entry, 5 soda, 10 popcorn, and 5 uh, dollar candy. Whoa, that is, that is indeed expensive. So basically, you get the VIP treatment in Romania more than... Uh, it's less expensive expensive actually less expensive than it is uh, in your theaters uh, the normal experience kick 
Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, of course. I mean, you want to keep your, you know, a happy girlfriend makes you happy, right? Uh, in Ukraine, it's around the $40 for casual seats and $8 for a sofa, popcorn and stuff not included. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Mike, hello, hello there, sir. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got some more uh, prices over here. But, uh, man, this... Uh... Okay, I'm going to say it again because I, I need to get it out of my soul over here. So, I went... The last time I went, I made sure... Because you can actually see how many seats are uh, available. I made sure in a VIP room, I'm going to be alone. It was... Uh, how what was it the uh, the one with uh, the shooter over there totally forgot how it's called but anyway the fourth series and the last episode uh, the last um, movie of a city um, and then uh, we I went into the room and 20 minutes in one of the employees from there thought it's I didn't know it's an employee at, at that point uh, thought it's a very good idea to go get some food bring the um, how to say uh, uh, the food in uh, and use forks and knives during the movie and I uh, I was hitting the shots uh, hitting the how to say the the movie at the same time I was cling 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 <laughs> Bro, I'm here to enjoy a movie. Let me be, bro. Oh my god. Anyway, John Wick, John Wick 4. That's what it was. Anyway, uh, let's actually see uh, and take a look at the mm, golden ages over here. Uh, Monumentality golden age coming up on Peter, 42 science and 104 culture. He's starting to acquire that uh, nice uh, 41 tourism a turn, two, four, six, eight series for him, uh, getting more greeneries for the extra. Um, uh, for the extra um, housing and I do see of course uh, he's starting to trade coastally with uh, Scotland that's going to be nice for both of their economies actually that is a uh, positive in his economy with uh, 22 gold a turn at the moment 142 production and we do have him also on 176 uh, faith a turn and uh, since he's uh, going to be in a second momentality golden age he's uh, going to um, benefit from uh, buying more builders and uh, more settlers with it uh, one turn away from getting a master chapel he could actually get an attack going on in and that is going to be extremely catastrophic for the incline if that happens we might actually try we might actually see some corset attacks uh, being applied over here and i think he should actually uh, it's uh, well known that if you do pressure your opponents you do um, you might actually topple empires uh, just by using a few units uh, trying to pillage your opponents or um, uh, trying to take over cities from an early stage just forcing him uh, forcing them to build units might actually put uh, give you advantages from uh, actually applying pressure on their economies uh, we do have uh, Vadia Queen also 43 science and 73 culture 168 uh, production and 131 uh, faith turn he did go wide as soon as he could and uh, he is also generating at the moment 30 gold a turn uh, so um, he has a decent economy going uh, we do have him uh, putting some boats in the water to see what's going on here and I do also notice he is uh, getting closer to the borders of Egypt to the northeast and with his uh, pen brush and voice golden age now he uh, can use that faith uh, to actually buy out the buildings and that's exactly what he's doing buying out the buildings uh, the library is in his uh, district so he gets um, uh, the faith used somehow uh, see we 93 uh, science and 59 culture he does have 110 production on uh, scotland right next to uh, the borders of uh, georgia and right next to uh, egypt and uh, india looks like he has a bit of a problem with india but i gotta say uh, india is getting uh, uh how to say uh, too far away from applying this pressure Ooh, hi pantaloons welcome to the dreamer sir and welcome uh we got uh, also uh, anonymous gift thank you so much thank you so much for the gift much appreciated are the teams in war by default or do they have to declare it first and the peace later you're not allowed to peace in a teamers game but yes uh, they are they do control the moment they do declare war once you're in a war you can't declare peace you cannot declare peace uh, we do have uh, also uh, see we, with uh, normal age unfortunately he can't uh, get uh, he couldn't get his golden age and won't get the benefits of pen and voice or any other uh, bonus there we do have a serious uh, man also with a pen brush and voice golden age 60 size 71 uh, culture it looks like uh, we're gonna need to see what he's gonna do in um 
um, in this era. I was expecting him to actually put off an attack against uh, Korea over here with uh, maybe some muskets. I do see him uh, going for education in two turns and diplomatic uh, service in one. Looks like he's going to need uh, that uh, civil um, uh, that alliance. He did uh, start to get uh, free units uh, coming up from building his um, industrial zones and he's going to get a lot of free units over here with the extra plus five. Um, well, it's going to take him a bit of time to actually move them towards Giant Causeway and then move them back while, uh, as you can see, his uh, men at arms are uh, at the moment 63 strength against that knight of 60 and that is without that is without a general he would do quite well to get the general and that's exactly what he's doing getting in camera training projects in uh, the city of cleveland he's also putting a uh, victor in that city uh, to get a bit of a bit uh, better defense against his opponent i do have to point out the hawachas are strong but you do require a general for them uh, so they can move and shoot they that ability is uh, not uh, coming uh, by default on those units but we do have also ipo with a pen passion voice golden age this time he did manage to uh, get to, to stabilize his economy he's on 86 science with 115 culture and by the looks of it uh, still puts units in the front of his uh, opponents here against some uh, more knights and varus uh, on the front line uh, he is not looking to actually apply that much pressure on uh, scotland as in he's not looking to attack cities here even if he did manage to spread uh, crusade into the front series uh, of uh, Scotland, Ch Cullen and uh, Dundee uh, is, uh, yeah, he's not pushing right now. That is a bit unfortunate. I, I definitely wanted to see him use that Crusade ability a little bit earlier. Um, we do have uh, Morty with uh, 66 science and 68 culture, 67 um, uh, also gold per turn. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he did manage to... Um, uh, get a lot of cities and at the same time uh, scale that well uh, even though uh, he did have a decent amount of land to uh, benefit from the north uh, he did choose to go in the south and that's a bit unfortunate that's going to put him much much closer to uh, Russia's cities and uh, that's uh, going to give Russia an opportunity to actually attack into his cities uh, much easier now uh, this uh, might actually be a cause for concern in the next part of the game and we do have uh, mind blow also with a pen Russian voice golden age two four six seven cities and I do see uh, we do have a campus coming up from Russia Cadet while he's acquiring more great writers he's on 83 science and 83 culture 78 gold uh, they are starting to um, bank the gold in and uh, we do have him coupling his economy uh, slowly but surely with uh, the uh, indian one with Chandra Gupta. Uh, Gross Bill, a pen passion voice golden age, 101 science, 55 cultured, minus 17 gold. He's probably not using his uh, minus card over here, minus one gold per 10 uh, for the units card. Yeah, there we go. He's actually using equestrian orders uh, for the extra uh, horse and iron per turn. I'm actually extremely confused about why he's using that card since they should be making a lot of uh, iron button and gold per anyway it is what it is uh, we do have uh, him also with an encampment getting industrial zones for the extra production he's on 125 production while um already serious uh, is uh, 208 you can imagine uh, all of these units are going to be a bit too strong even for the hawachas to push into uh, let me actually take a quick peek if uh, we do have any kind of a uh, drop down menu no they actually spend their movement and we can't see this now uh, the um many times at the moment on attack are 62 strength they should be stronger on the defense and you can see what they did to that horse they just totally overwhelmed them uh, we do have uh, also in camera training projects coming up from uh, the city of cleveland in cleveland i do see uh, in the great people screen we do have galileo galilei appearing over here and it doesn't look like um uh, the two big ones uh, Ib, uh well one of the ibns uh if uh, and any totally forgot what that was but anyway um or um uh, Newton did pop over there in the great people screen. Uh, hello there, Ox Daniel. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Uh, Clem uh, um, hello there, sir. Uh, welcome, welcome as well. I think uh, he's waiting for military schools. Uh, mili uh, okay. Wait, who? who? Who's waiting for military schools? Uh, also, Ip Kaldun. Ip Kaldun. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's the one I was looking at. Ip Kaldun. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, bing bong bing bong.
uh, 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 means son of. Oh, I see. So it's son of Khaldun and uh, son, uh, son of um, uh, Fadlan. I got it now. Oh my God, that makes more, much more sense. That makes much more sense. Uh, his full name is uh, Ab Ar Rahman bin Muhammad ibn Khaldun. Aha. Okay. Oh my God, that's a long name. That's a very long name. I never understood why, but there must be a logic behind the, the, all of the full names over there. I don't think we have, like in Romanian, I don't think we have people named uh, with more than three uh, names. Uh, you usually get one from your mother or your father, and then you have your name, and then, of course, the family name. So, basically, like, three names. But, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know how it is in other countries, though. Uh, and we do have... Uh, do you have uh, middle names too yes that's the middle uh, the, so the, you get the middle name from your father or your mother it, it depends i i guess it's a kind of a like you know parent thing what they want to name you of the third one Uh, we do have a uh, Scottish spy getting into the city of Panda and trying to uh, get some extra defense over here for those units and getting the intel on his opponent's movement. He already has a plus three intel because he did manage to discover uh, printing much earlier than his opponent while he's, uh, he might actually get a plus six um, for his units. He didn't actually make more units here. Probably did see that uh, India stopped uh, creating units at some point, even though I do believe uh, Grandmaster Chapel has finished and India does have the ability to just uh, buy straight up buy the units he did also india did manage to uh, get the pathways uh, towards his opponent over here as you can see the roads um, uh, are getting uh, around the mountains uh, so he can actually uh, resupply with uh, more pathways uh, towards the cities of uh, scotland now what kind of technology he's gonna want to use against siwi it's something that we're gonna need to wait and see uh, still the virus even if um, he's go they're gonna go against the higher technological units uh, they're still gonna apply the minus five and if you do uh, get to couple them with um, other units around it's gonna be good also cc pyro good evening sir bonsoir bienvenue monsieur uh, in france it depends most people have one or two middle names oh oh really okay one or two. Oh, i see i see i see okay oh okay okay very nice very nice We got uh, Neken uh, three tens away. Okay, I do see uh, campus is in shedded. Uh, campus is in racketed. He, uh, I do believe um, over here mind blow will require a little bit more science. But I gotta say uh, Tamar over here to the south of him uh, did not manage to get that many stats, uh, especially in the science screen. He did manage to uh, keep his production very high, and I do see his uh, faith. So we're probably gonna see him um, try to catch up with the science in the next wave. I wouldn't be surprised, and I'm a bit surprised actually. He didn't get his universities yet. He does have. Uh, libraries in most of his uh, campuses that he actually built but he did prioritize uh, getting uh, like theater squares and uh, holy sites uh, instead of these now uh, he is also making a canal over here to the west of zubdini uh, where i do see america is going to settle a city so they could uh, try to start uh, tra trading coastally uh, we also notice uh, scotland um, Whoa, Scotland actually is not putting that city in the south to get the extra amenities. Well, it is what it is. Why did he on the amenities screen? He's still on a happy amenities. He didn't actually go to ecstatic, so he's not getting the full bonus of his... Um amenities it is what it is uh, we do have uh, more settlers coming around also from uh, inca from morty and i do notice uh, he has a lot of traders going to the north i don't know where oh madura he's actually starting to couple his economy externally here with his uh, ally and i do see his plug in arena in the city of machu uh, okay so okay uh wh what is it uh so Scotland is chup chup with uh, Russia. We do have uh, Georgia chup chup with uh, Scotland over here, and uh, Georgia chup chup with uh, America also. Okay, very nice. Uh, we do have uh, also Huachas uh, so starting to make a line of defense or an end or offense as he still doesn't have uh, the general for them. So unfortunately, these Huachas uh, are not gonna get to push in to their opponent's uh, defenses. You can see the Huachas 65, the Manatee 70 on the defense, and that is without uh, for, uh, general. And and without um, uh, its um, uh, plus 10 uh, tortoise promotion against the ranged units that's a that's a bit of a 
that will be an advantage then and uh, where where is he on the tech side 210 sprinting uh, he still didn't get the upgrade button for musket man so i i don't think he can actually he did manage to get that no he didn't okay in camera training projects coming up from washington looking at the great general screen over here who did manage to get one we got india recruiting ethel fled uh, okay another one anywhere no timur on scotland i'll sit on uh, so india is getting a lot of these like a lot of these america is going to need to get you up uh, in a long time we do have india making 12 great general points a turn the next one is 155 points and america would require like probably uh four, three or four projects i do see him uh, doing two at the moment working on two and he's uh, putting down his universities in the next wave now uh, he is uh, starting to get an advantage when it comes to uh, the science difference uh, no he's not actually in the total science acquired mind blow is still a little bit ahead with 59 uh, 72 points versus uh, serious uh, 1371 but i do see um from both of them the university starting to come out so we might actually see them uh, neck and neck in the next wave as well uh, i do also notice mind blow is starting to finish uh, up wait did i watch that uh, wait i didn't watch that uh, properly it's 112 versus 91 so no 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 it's uh, 1964 versus 1371 definitely a big advantage for korea when it comes to the science i got confused and i actually counted uh, egypt over there now yeah, also Valanchik, hello there sir uh, let's see we do have vadia queen keeping cardiff uh, also hong kong chingueti and preslav uh, he does have four series over here um on his side while uh, laventa is ipos we've got uh, jerusalem on dart uh, looks like uh, siwi is keeping uh, kabul that's actually gonna give uh, wait siwi is scotland right he's gonna give him uh, the ability to acquire more uh, experience if he is attacking i believe uh, kabul only gives you that experience if uh, you you're initiating the battle so if you are attacking um okay and that's about it that's it but i gotta say when it comes to the diplo favor there's gonna be a massive uh, advantage when it comes to escape puzzle uh, versus his opponent versus their opponents now i'm also waiting for that to actually get those uh, cuirassiers against his um, opposing nation over here inca inca is um uh, generating, generating a lot of gold for his uh, teammates and uh, that actually came at the uh, expense of his science and his culture and we do need to see if um, uh, Dart is going to try to punish that uh, we do have uh, Dart also settling more cities on the west side I do see uh, Novgorod, Moscow and then uh, third city is going to be uh, placed over here to the south of Chingueti uh, making 208 faith a turn he could just buy out uh, some cuirassiers uh, over here in the city of Voronezh, Volonia and uh, Tula uh, and the land is just so perfect to go into Chan Chan Okay, he's gonna be the opposite of Chup Chup here. Uh, that canal train, how much money they make uh, by canal. I, I'm not so convinced this is going to go through canals, honestly. Um, usually, if you do want to benefit from uh, something like this or even um, um, getting the benefits of uh, tunnels, you need to wait before you send the traders. Because otherwise, uh, the, if the trader gets to set up its trade route, it's not going to change. So you need to wait maybe we're gonna see george again so he did finish he did finish his canal right okay let's see let's see when he sends this one he's probably gonna be external right and uh, he wants to work it through new york let's see is this gonna happen i really want to see what's gonna happen here well i don't i, I guess I guess we're not going to see it. So, it, like, if it goes into the water, that means it's going through the canal. If it goes uh, through the land, that means it's just going to bypass the canal. It might actually go through the canal, to be honest. It might go through the canal. It should go through the canal, actually. Anyway, uh, that's a sad-looking mausoleum so far. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, I think he just got it for um, um, the extra, I would say, engineer things. 
charges rather than uh, the bonuses on the water but yeah it's kind of sad it's gonna get some extra adjacency towards uh, theater square as well not bad but still not amazing that's a plus two theater square that he's gonna benefit from uh we do have let's see no movement coming up from egypt on with his opponent at the moment uh, ipo still no movement against his opponent over here but he's getting a spy of his own and i do see morning camels being placed from hyderabad again and trying to get more science going uh finishing up his universities and i'm pretty sure he actually started to buy out uh, quite a few watts with uh, faith because i didn't see them uh, in the bill queues and i'm pretty sure uh, well, that's how he's uh, actually getting uh, more science and um, more culture oh, more faith i mean more faith 150 um, production with a uh, 206 faith a turn while see we does only have 158 production with 14 faith a turn but he does have uh, 128 science and 72 culture and he had that science number from a much earlier uh, stage of the game than IPO he's on the 2004 totally acquired in the game while IPO is a 1644 uh, we might see some movement over here but it looks like America at the moment is not uh, feeling confident enough uh, to push against his opponent even though to be honest when he's getting the general he should uh, he is getting the general he's getting the encounter training projects getting more units from his workshops and looking at uh, the great general screen over here he's uh, generating two great general points a turn while he's on 76 out of 155 he would require at least one uh, at least two projects actually i think he's gonna jump up to what 105 110 points in the next turn and then he definitely needs another project or two to get that well it depends on how fast you want this but yeah let's see 113 okay 113 uh 12 mm, uh, what is l2 r does canal give gold if it is internal uh no no uh, or I, at least i don't think so it's only internationals if i remember correctly uh let's see where is this going so this to saint petersburg check this out guys this is actually going through the water to saint petersburg where is saint petersburg what what oh my god it's actually going through multiple cities and why did this not move this is looked into the PLC. Oh, never mind. This was actually already set. Okay. So, at least one trader is going through that. Uh, we do have Vadia on 117 gold a turn over here, 75 cents, 106 culture. And uh, by the looks of it, uh, they're trading across multiple empires and across multiple seas uh, from one gap to the other. Uh, we do have uh, also St. Basil Cathedral getting uh, built in Kazan. Uh, it turns from finishing. Uh, Kilvakis Ivani is uh, being finished over here in St. Petersburg. This would have been an amazing wonder on. Um, on Tamar, uh, we do have also Machu Picchu uh, getting built in Tver, and I do see uh, multiple industrial zones coming around there. Uh, still, we don't have units uh, to the front line on the northeastern border of uh, Russia. We do have him on 73 science, 139 culture, and he's getting he's going industrialization over here. Cartography coming up in three turns, and nationalism coming up in four. Um, well, there's a big moment when it comes to steam power and uh, flights so on tourism, so he's definitely going to want that as well. Uh, Postals coming up from uh, his city. Uh, looks like he's uh, looking to uh, get his uh, fourth belief uh, he did manage to get the pagodas uh, for the um, influence point and he's getting a little bit of faith uh, alongside that uh, while uh, finishing up uh, his religion evangelizing his religion is going to allow him to get the fourth uh, bonus okay now we do have uh, trebuchets coming around from uh, the cities of india getting to the south here uh, i do see also stables coming around with uh, armories uh, from his uh, encampments and he's getting that chance in the northern city unfortunately it does look like um, uh, two leaves of um, diplomatic favor is just not getting higher uh, we do have a uh, vadia queen on 101 diplo favor 131 on dart we got sirius on 143 sewi is also 86 while on the other side one single member was on um more than 100 while everybody else was lower uh, we did have a uh, gross bill acquiring more uh, than 100 this turn wait did the vadia just got like 10 diplo favor did we just see that happening i think he got 10 right Kyber, hello there, sir. Uh, what is Georgia's religion? Uh, let me see. Uh, it's a uh, Jesuit education with papal primacy. Je trouve un post reddit qui dit 50%. Uh, wait. Sankant? Uh, is that Sankant par Sant? Uh, the gold per canal? Same pare beaucoup. 
Uh, and uh, I think that means I found a Reddit post uh, that said uh, plus 50% uh, of gold uh, per canal. Uh, it, it means a lot. I, I find it meaning a lot. Mm, Sinkant. Okay, Sinkant. There we go. There we go. We're getting We're getting there. When, um, tomorrow, uh, we're probably going to see Le Professeur de Francais get again. Oh my God. Oh my God. What do you think, guys? Should we do a stream with uh, my French tutor at some point? <laughs> Standing behind me with basically like a whip over there. <laughs> Say it correctly. <laughs> they were like, yeah, don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> anyway, 50% uh, by canal, it seems uh, to be too much. Yeah, yeah, it, it seems too, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, well, we'll see. Oh, wait, this is that, does this trader actually go through the canal or is it gonna go on the iron tile? Anyway, we do have uh, in the um, yield tab over here. Let me see. Let me see what we have. A lot of production. Actually, we do have three members uh, coming up from Escape Puzzle with uh, 200 more pro uh, with 200 plus production. We do have uh, the musket men also getting in, and the uh, watches are getting stopped over here. This is not even him benefiting from a uh, general. So you can imagine what's going to happen with the general. They're just not going to do anything about these uh, units. Now uh, I do uh, want to take a look at the bonus damage, and uh, yeah, there we go. It have the musket man actually taking a little bit of damage from these hawachas uh but uh, yeah again without the general we're going to need to see uh, what happens when the, the musket men start attacking their opponents uh but it's still getting a road through a canal is not easy yeah yeah it's definitely a hard uh, logistical project over here for him but anyway he did manage to get the trader going through this side and it does look like the trader did actually uh, get to go through the iron tally on if only he would have waited a f uh, like a few turns to actually send this trader i think he would have gone the correct way but anyway it's fine he does have uh, 35 gold i guess he can upkeep his army and his allies are making a decent amount of gold we do have morty jumping up to 114 gold a turn as well since he did uh, start to trade externally with india uh, trying to put a few more settlers going and I do see him uh, finally standing up on his uh, universities uh, also going Chicken Itza from the city of Olatan Taibo we do have um income with an ability to get a lot of uh, culture with that uh, he does need um, he does need a lot more science though and I do have to say I'm a bit surprised that he didn't grow ex much quicker here I'm a bit surprised about this there was uh, some problem with his early uh, build queues for the tempo Uh, trading road, yeah. Okay, so we do have uh, Russia trying to get also his um, production capabilities higher. He's definitely going to need to uh, build a lot of stuff in the next wave. Uh, getting a few aqueducts uh, so he can increase the GCC towards these industrial zones. This is actually, where is where is this industrial zone and it, why is it not next to the aqueduct? It's actually placed here. That's a plus four anyway, but anyway. Oh, okay, sure. He could have gotten a plus four here anyway, or here. Uh, I guess he's waiting for a campus. He did build up... Uh, uh, that uh, Lavra to the west side. I do see uh, encampments also coming up from Tula, and we're probably going to see and start mo uh, to see movement over here from America. He's probably waiting for that uh, general, so he gets uh, oh, John Dark. He it has appeared. John, John, let's go to the front line. Uh, hello there, uh, Peter. Uh, how are you doing, Peter Pan? Uh, welcome, welcome, sir. Uh, good and up in my hair. Uh, yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing well. We're uh, trying to see what's going to happen over here in the next one. Uh, definitely a lot of things that uh, we thought that they're going to go differently. But now we do have the attacks on Amer from America on Korea. Korea is uh, going to try to put up a strong defense with his uh, watches. Unfortunately for him, it looks like the American units especially benefiting from uh, giant causeway bonuses. Oh, they're doing so much damage. Uh, well, we're going to need to see also Jan uh, Dark getting Jan Dark getting onto the into the city of 
Cleveland and the first our watcher has been taken down and we do have uh, also our watchers unfortunately not benefiting from the general bonus so they can't move and shoot when they are standing still and there aren't that many of them available for him to defend with he does have um, walls in Jinju and walls in that in Yemen, of course while we do see America trying to get uh, to the next tier technologies, uh, going for battles at the moment, nationalism coming up in four, uh, while he is uh, getting, uh, well, he did get to trade actually that uh, musket man. It got into the range of multiple Hawachas with uh, the wall defense, and I think I believe that is Victor double over there in that city center. Uh, Victor does have the embrasure promotion that gives you um, an additional range strike per turn. It's actually quite powerful if you do manage to uh, get units in a weak spot. Uh, uh, now there is a possibility also for um, Sirman to wrap up his units in four turns and uh, we do need to see if uh, that's actually going to be applied by him. He does need a lot more units to uh, uh, get going though. Now we do have... Um uh, Scottish uh, units appearing uh, next to the city of Cullen to defend himself against India while uh, India uh, well is still uh, lagging a little bit behind when uh, we're talking about the uh, building units he did manage to uh, focus on his science and his culture now and it doesn't look like uh, Scotland did uh, use this uh, peace time uh, to actually get his own science and culture going it's in a normal age and he does uh, benefit from more science and uh, well a little bit less culture than uh, his opponent IPO uh, looking at uh, also the tourism screen, we're probably going to start uh, seeing uh, Dart acquiring those uh, tourism points. He's on one out of 44 tourists and I do see him on uh, 67 tourism attend while he is building three wonders, uh, getting his uh, pagodas and multiple temples going for that extra faith and uh, producing art museums, art museums and uh, Kilva Hizivani coming up in St. Petersburg with uh, this St. Basil Cathedral in Kazan. I believe uh, St. Basil Cathedral does also give you a relic and more relic slot. That's gonna be quite <clears throat> good for him. Let me actually. Uh, uh, where is it? Basil, Saint Basil over here. Uh, Words one relic, 100% uh, religious tourism from the city, plus one food, plus one production culture, and uh, must be built adjacent to a city center. It does also benefit from three relic slots. I don't think we had candy in the game, right? No, there's no candy in the game. There was at some point Yerevan, but that's uh, that ship has sailed, man. Yerevan went in and went down. Let's see if uh, we got more pushes over here. Where's the general? Why why is the general not here? Uh, chup chup. Oh, here it is. Okay. Why why is the general not on the front line? Uh, okay. Okay, calling up uh, crossbows. Maybe a serious uh, man over here uh, should actually go for uh, field cannons of his own. Why is he not going for field Oh my god, these crossbowmen cores are stronger than the Hawachas. Oh my god. Oh, that's a problem. That is a bit of a problem for Korea. Anyway, Rafibi, also I looked uh, how it works for the gold bonus. If the trade across uh, water tile, canal or tunnel gives a bonus, but the bonus is calculated on the distance and the bonus is equal to number of efficient uh, points, uh, length of the trade route, the water tile, a railroad or a canal give uh, two efficient uh, points, the tunnel gives uh, 15. The bonus is capped at 100. Yes, the tunnels are just amazing. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like uh, Morty did manage to set up uh, this uh, beforehand of trying to use those uh, tunnels uh, to actually trade towards his ally. So, for example, uh, Wilka, Mon Wilka Woman would have been uh, able to trade through this mountain tile if he got the Reina bonus in and the Capagnan in. I'm pretty sure he could have used this as um, a trading station towards uh, his ally and got a lot more gold going. Anyway, he, we do have Mind Blower 93 gold, 129 cents, 116 culture. The IPO is 24. He's on a positive range, but now gross bill is uh, lower in gold on minus 19. We do have uh, court units coming up here from America and by the looks of it these um how much is are starting to attack into him but not as strong as before with 65 strength against the muskets 88 and again without the general bonus finally Jean, Jean Dark is getting onto the front line with uh, the ability to get that extra plus 5 and the extra movement uh, on each of these uh, American units very nice very nice Jean let's go 
gotta get going Sean and we got the campus research projects coming up from his series uh, it looks like um uh, we did have a Scotland picking up Isaac Newton and I do notice the Mar did manage to uh, snatch uh, Ibn Khaldun the son of Khaldun has uh, been uh, recruited by the Georgian Empire now I'd also want to point out uh, we do have um uh, two nations from the same team that managed to get to uh, both of those amazing uh, scientists that's uh that's quite an issue over here for two reefs of quite uh, that's a very big issue actually for two reefs uh, with uh america benefiting from 272 production it looks like uh, he's slowly gonna overwhelm the points um of, of sejong uh, that is at the moment only on 150 science and 72 culture we do need to see if america is going to manage to um, overwhelm korea's defenses as well as, as those uh, stat points and when is he going to choose to actually going to uh, go on the offense i do see abraham lincoln is trying to go for his his, um, industrialization much faster than he's uh, going to want to go for any kind of uh, attack unit against his opponent yes he does have muscular yes they are strong against his opponent uh, units of the Hawachas uh, but unfortunately for us we don't actually see him uh, going on the offense here uh, we uh, will need to wait and see when uh, america is gonna want to go on the offense so maybe he's gonna want the line infantry maybe he's gonna want um i would say uh, uh, uh infantries to actually go against his opponent anyway how much a course that's only one core i don't think he can afford to actually core up these units uh, so I, I don't think he can afford to core up his units because well two units are going to deal more damage against your opponent than uh, one unit uh and by the looks of it well he's just not going to have enough uh, units only three of these how much are remaining over here i mean this is a point where uh, america could just slowly walk in to be honest but anyway uh, high pantaloons also usa should rebuild the raiders yes i also agree with uh, that statement and he should get some uh, rough raiders over here to go against his opponent uh if uh, the initial defense is going to be breached he can easily go against uh, the other series of his opponent without um, walking into minefield uh, looking at the yields tab over here the gross build does only have 169 production it is definitely going to take a long time to actually rebuild his armies or uh, get um get a defense going another defense going uh we don't have actually scotland doing anything over here i'm very sad that i uh india has not kept shooting against the scottish units to force him <clears throat> to get a defense uh casa de Constratación being built in tbilisi we do have uh, that uh, theater square plus four in batumi looks like uh, also taj mahal in uh akal kalaki akal kalaki city okay <clears throat> Oh, finally, Stonehenge is actually built somewhere. The city of Poti is building it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, quite right, got confused. By this is Abe, not Terry. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, right, right, right. I got confused as well. Kick. Thank you. Blaze Cat Games, man. Big shout out, bro. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, can you imagine Terry with, uh, uh, sorry, um, Lincoln with uh, Rough Riders? Oh, man. Uh, anyway, we do have uh, industrial zones also coming around here from Korea. He's uh, trying to get the setup going for um, Akurax and industrial zones. Unfortunately, it will take a bit too long to actually get that going. Uh, it's uh, a bit. He's a bit late on this. He did manage to get the setup going uh, next to the city of Seoul and Sangju. And I do see uh, banks coming around here in uh, Fortens for that city center. He's uh, definitely looking to acquire more gold. He knows he's in a negative range. He, he definitely doesn't like it. Now, we do have... Um, <clears throat> Uh, four more turns until the next era while uh, looking at the era score screen over here dart is uh, 11 points from actually getting a golden age we do have vadia queen uh, definitely getting a golden age here no problems for him 134 points out of 113 uh, sewi is uh, going dark 61 65 serious man going dark we do have ip also oh that might actually be the um, uh, way he's gonna go in with an extra plus five he would be amazingly strong against his opponent over here where is this uh no no okay <clears throat> IPO going dark as well, Morty going dark, Mind Blow going dark, and it looks like Grossbill is going to go dark. Uh, looking at uh, also Peter uh, Tourism Portal, he is on 91 a turn, and by the looks of it, he did acquire 3 out of 50. Uh, we do have uh, defensive capabilities coming up from Chandra Gupta. When it comes to the 140 culture he's in, he's going to lose his pen brush and voice. That's going to mean a little bit less uh, culture. And we do see military academies coming up from multiple cities over here uh, to, well... 
give him a little bit more production and the oil button if he does manage to discover <coughs> We're refining and uh, we do have more cameras being put down from uh, Padna. Okay. Uh, it doesn't, uh, I mean, I, I don't know, man. It doesn't look like he's going to get that uh, going against his opponent that good. Yeah, uh, so you couldn't find Stonehenge because there wasn't a Stonehenge. Yes, I don't think there was a Stonehenge. I, I don't know what, but I, I thought I saw a Stonehenge and I thought I saw a Pussycat, but there was no Pussycat and there was no Stonehenge. It is what it is. Or maybe he put it down so long and he never finished it. Because you see, there's no stone over here. So, it, you know, I, I I don't think he could have actually built it without stone. So, An industrial sim on a floodable plane without a dam. Some people um, like to live dangerously. Yes. <clears throat> totally. I still believe... At the moment, Korea is in big trouble. Big, very big with troubles. Oh, let me actually take a quick pick on something. Totally forgot to say uh, hello to YouTube. Man, still big shout out to Urek, man. He's, oh my God, he's always on YouTube. Unbelievable. On every premiere, big shout out to uh, Urek over there. Big shout out to the man. Uh, horse units do not have zone of control on his scouts. Uh, did they even get dams yet? Uh, do you want me? Yeah, uh, well, they didn't actually get dams, no. Uh, or are you talking about Grossbill? Uh, I'm not sure if he actually went uh, top three. So you do get um, uh, dams over here at Batras. I don't think he actually went cartography. So Batras. He does have a 3175 uh, science. He's still above a serious man's uh, 2750. He still has an advantage when it comes to that. Uh, and it looks like uh, industrialization coming up over here in two turns for serious man. Okay, very nice. We don't have industrialization over here for Korea yet. That's uh, going to be so much of a boost in uh, production. 273 at the moment. It looks like he did finish that in Cameron right in the face of his opponent. And the America might uh, might actually use that siege tower to take out the encampment. Uh, that's uh, how much accord that uh, can actually counter attack into the city of uh, Cleveland's uh, in Camel, but I think, of course, with uh, Governor Victor extra bonuses, uh, I'm pretty sure he actually used also James of St. George to get 150 fortification health in that city center. That is massively overpowered against uh, the Korean Hawachas. They're just not going to do much damage here. Yeah, they're, they're barely scratching the walls in that encampment. Uh, uh, team the pass, uh, team the pass. Actually, hello there, sir. Uh, mate, can you show uh, CS on this map, please? Yes, sir, I can. There we go. Uh, I've seen uh, camp units go around other camp units. Are there any ex exceptions? No, are not affected by zone of control. Yes, Circa Sessian. Good evening, sir. And that is correct. They're not affected by uh, zone of control. <coughs> Mm -hmm. uh, this is the last turn? No, two more turns after the next era. And uh, it does look like uh, Dart did manage to secure his golden age. We do have him uh, getting more aqueducts. He did finish St. Bas Basil Cathedral and did jump up to 138 tourism with uh, that relic and all of the uh, wonder tourism that he's uh, getting right now. We do have uh, theater squares uh, coming up from Tver and uh, looking at the um, great people screen. We do have him uh, 17 great writer points a turn while Georgia is on 12. Egypt is on 5 though. He couldn't actually get bigger. We do have uh, Georgia also on 20 great artists. It looks like 13 for Russia while uh, Russia is on 4 great musicians. Definitely needs uh, to get this one. Look, Ludwig van Beethoven. <clears throat> Uh, recruited and activated. Now we do have uh, Georgian boats over here, some privateers, and I do see a quadrim uh, coming up in the seas between him and uh, Egypt. Well, uh, it looks like he might actually want to get this. Uh, there's a horse stopping him from getting the pillage on the mine. 
Cav units ignore zone of control, but they do apply to melee. United Cav. Okay, let's see. Let's see the Musketman core. Woo! Two shot in the camo like a boss. The walls are not even. Oh my god, wait. He's just gonna kill that Kawacha. What happened? Why why did the Hawacha go into the forest? Was this a misclick? Oh my god. Anyway, this uh, Musketman core. Well, he's gonna get to attack next time, and we're gonna see that in Cameron Paul. It uh, looks like uh, American attack is uh, starting to take shape over here against the city of Jinju and uh, Yangsan. Uh, we do have uh, multiple builders coming around from a wave of builders actually coming around from uh, the cities of America. Uh, while uh, he's gonna get to wait, he did finish industrialization. No, he didn't. Next time he's gonna get that extra production from industrialization. He's on 280 production at the moment, and we're probably we're expecting him to jump up to 310 immediately. While he's probably gonna get uh, those factories and the uh, coal power plants in, he's gonna get 400 plus production soon. We do have him uh, with um, more of these universities coming around in his cities, 175, 120 culture. He's going to lose a little bit of culture, but I don't think that's uh, that big. He did manage to catch up uh, to the science acquired by Grosspil, uh, about caught up to the science acquired by Grosspil, while uh, Grosspil uh, cities are scrambling to get more Hawachas on uh, the map. Unfortunately, this might not be enough. Um, as you've seen, Hawachas just don't do enough damage against the Musketman core as uh, he would like to. Uh, does uh, Ludo Reeves uh, have a win condition? No. Uh, Diplo. Diplo. Well, I think. Well, they think it's Diplo, but I don't think it's Diplo just because, uh, well, you know, it's uh, Tamar in the game. And uh, they do have a lot of Diplo favor. Actually, yeah, there's a lot of Diplo favor. A lot of Diplo favor. Like three, uh, already three players over 200, while uh, there's only one on 200 on Ledo Reeves. Is he moving? Is he moving? No. Okay. Doesn't look like it. Where is he? Grossbill rif uh, rifling in two turns. He could actually upgrade the knight into a cuirassier to get more strength. Uh, and he should actually get uh, a cuirassier. Why is he not upgrading a cuirassier? Is this a gold problem? Okay, there we go. There we go. No. This is gonna be harder to touch. I guess, I guess the Hawacha was a bait, guys. He shouldn't have uh, attacked the Hawacha and attacked the encampment to take it down. Now it's going to take a little bit more out of his uh, musketman to attack into that. Uh, sorry, just got a notification to, from Twitch and I was uh, reading quickly through it. Uh, just an update on some policies. It's fine. It doesn't actually uh, do anything about me. Um, hey, did you guys see the, the game Palia? I, I received an invitation to play it and I was like, what is this game? Any of you played it? like looks like a life ever more or something anyway uh we do have uh, next turn uh, next turn the golden age and it looks like uh, six of the players will be in the dark while two of them are going to be in the golden age it looks like tamar has been successfully uh, chaining these golden is going uh, Grandmaster master chapel in uh, three turns he did manage to get that science and culture working for him while um, i do see dart managing to get 212 uh, culture uh, we do have uh, 300 production coming up from peter and uh, we do see uh, georgia is uh, probably going to feed him works great works of art great works of 
of uh, writing and so on, whatever he needs. Um, uh, I do see Inca was the one uh, coming on the offense against uh, Russia. And uh, by the looks of it, we do have uh, two, four, six of these uh, Incan Corsairs uh, trying to get into the cities of uh, Russia and do some damage, force him to get some defenses going. Um, but I love was almost you. Your wife wanted to play that game. Okay, it's kind of like uh, Genshin plus buildings. I don't know what Genshin is. I'm sorry. Um, uh, oh, let me see. Let me see a definition of what is this. Uh, what is this? It's a role-playing game developed by me. Okay, was it released for Android? Oh, okay, okay. So it's basically like a Sims. Okay, it's basically like a Sims uh, plus MMO. What is it like? Uh, like I, I saw uh, kinda the graphics look like uh, Raft. If you know Raft, that's that's what it initially uh, like. You know, powerful colors, uh, cartoonish like characters, uh, but not that cartoonish. You know. Anyway, I, I can't say I uh, enjoyed the idea. Oh, India finally getting some upgrades going with uh, Bombards. And I do see Cuirassiers available for him to go and attack Scotland. Scotland does have field cannons of his own. His own Cuirassiers, a general. And I do see uh, Cavs. Now, these Indian units will benefit from um, Crusade abilities whenever he's uh, going to get into the borders of the city of Cullen uh, or the borders of the cities that he converted. And it looks like we do have um, it's an Orthodoxy getting um, acquired by the... Scottish nation and Catholicism. Um, this uh, might be a problem. Uh, might be a problem for um, India if uh, his uh, if the allies of Scotland are going to send uh, some uh, units. And I am actually quite surprised that they didn't send an apostle to uh, help uh, get rid of this crusade on uh, the city of Cullen and Dundee. Uh, Animal Crossing esque. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I sh I should start playing it. I have no idea. But anyway, with oh plus five Congress kicked up you, bro. Anyway, we're gonna have a pause of two minutes and we're gonna come back after this pause. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, this uh, Congress going and uh, we're gonna need to see how uh, they're gonna fare in the plus five Congress. What did they do, guys? What did they do? Did they get it? Did they get the plus five on the muskets? Oh my god, let's see. Plus five or minus five? What is it? Plus five million. Oh my god, can you imagine line infantry right now? Oh my god, he's gonna do the choopy choopy. Choop choop. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's gonna do the chup chup on Korea. He's gonna make Jinju his chup chup. Okay, if you uh, just to make it clear over here, chup chup actually means friend. <laughs> He's gonna make friendly with Jinju. He's gonna make a friend of Jinju. Uh, okay, well, it looks like uh, the Korean Masculine Core are 87 strength at the moment. They're looking at the tech side screen. We do have Abraham Lincoln discovering military um, uh, science uh, next time. So he's going to get to upgrade all of these Masculine Men uh, Core into line infantry core. And then he's going to have, wait, is he going to have more than 100? He's 87 now. Oh my God, he's going to have more than 100. Wait, what are you talking about? It's more like Stardew Valley. Okay. And uh, it's a gacha game with random loot on characters. It's the same for the uh, home guy. I, okay, interesting. So it, wait, you actually get loot in that game? I only saw people fishing and making houses and stuff like that in the in the short uh, videos that I watched about it. I didn't spend that much time to uh, watch it, to be honest. <laughs> My friends really wanted to play uh, Escape from Tarkov yesterday because there's like whatever event that's going on in Tarkov and they were like trying to do the missions and I tried to help them out. So we do have uh, two things happening on the map, uh, very big things happening on the map. First of all, it's America that's uh, probably going to uh, get to, to upgrade his units to go against Korea. We do have uh, American units getting caught up on the front line here with uh, multiple um, no, masked men uh, waiting to be upgraded into line with infantry next time. We do have uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, five of these Musket Men Core, or six, or seven actually Musket Men Core, with uh, General Jan Dark for them, and at the same time they do have um, the plus five card coming up from the World Congress. Uh, Crossbow and Cores uh, are also going to be uh, su uh, supporting them, and I gotta say um, they do have one of these Siege Towers available to try to defend with, uh, uh, try to attack with. I mean, uh, Grossbill uh, four turns away from getting steel, that's going to nullify uh, the Siege Tower's ability to take over uh, city centers, but I do have have to point out uh we're probably going to see American uh, cities uh, start to produce uh, soon some bombards and uh, America should actually go for artillery uh, up next. He's uh, just finishing up his production capabilities. Jump did jump up to 336 and did uh, finish a few of his uh, factories in his um, industrial zones. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that, man. <laughs> the, industri the encampment got taken down. We do have a lot of gold pattern coming up from Escape Puzzle. Um, well, I would have 237 points on Varia Queen with uh, Sewi on uh, 101. Looks like uh, Serious Man is uh, losing a little bit of gold, but not that much on minus 7. We do have also Dart on uh, 473 Faith at 10, 220 Culture, 330 Production, and uh, 144 Tourism. is starting to uh, chew through these uh, tourists a little bit quicker than uh, usual. 8 out of 60 at the moment with ten, uh, still 1077, and uh, he will probably discover... Um, uh, well, I say probably, but I don't think it's going to be that quickly. Uh, thinking of, uh, okay, there we go, line infantry. Are they 100? They are 100. 102 un uh, strength units going ag against the Hawatch 64. Oh, man, a chup chup. <laughs> We're going to see Korea be chup chup. It is what it is. Uh, Raccoon, hello there, sir. I just arrived, but uh, looking at the stats, so this game seems um, uh, close to over. Uh, well, uh, it all depends over here if Crossbill can actually defend. It doesn't look like he can uh, properly defend with uh, what units he has right now. Steel Wars are going to be his uh, last chance of uh, trying to defend against this. And we're going to need to see if uh, the cities are going to be strong enough uh, to withstand the multiple attacks of the Line Infantry Corps. Now, uh, we do have also an attack coming up over here from Inca going against uh, Russia. Looks like Russia is going to... Uh, well, be pillaged a little bit, but not that much. And uh, I do see uh, Russia very close to getting his Cossacks, which is 100% uh, going to help him uh, defend this. <clears throat> We did have another thing uh, happening over here. The next big thing was uh, India trying to get into the Scottish territory with a Bombard Corps. Wait, why is he splitting his units up like this? Now, I do see him uh, starting to hard build uh, multiple cuirassiers and trying to get them onto the front line while he's going to put more pressure on uh, Scotland. Scotland also is three turns away from getting his own steel, uh, trying to notify this uh, opponent's attack against him. It is one of this. Uh, Fortan Theatre Square Festival coming up for Scotland. And I gotta say, I'm a bit surprised. I was uh, expecting Georgia to you know, give um, these books to Russia, uh, try to feed Russia as quickly as possible to get that tourism going. I don't think that's happening. I don't think he's feeding Russia's uh, book count or uh, art count. 
Oh no, I got a stinky bug in the room. Ugh, I need to take out the stinky bug. Stinky bug, very bad bug. I need to figure out where it is. So, uh, in the um, yields per 10, it looks like uh, there's a massive gold problem over here. Honestly, I was uh, <clears throat> thinking from the beginning of the game when I saw the draft, there's going to be a much more healthy support of uh, gold per 10 coming up from uh, Le Du Reeves. It looks like um, um, we did have escape poser surprising us with a lot of gold per 10 from, coming up from their side. And uh, it does look like also the land did help them out quite a bit. I do have to point out Le Du Reeves uh, did have a good spawn uh, when it came to uh, the first uh, map they did have actually uh, coastal uh, trade routes uh, that would be available for them while in this particular game they had none which actually uh, i think actually was uh, the biggest mistake of the game here Uh, libraries should be able to hold a book uh, like it's a uh, building just for books. Uh, uh, yes. Oh my god, there's a stinky bug actually stinking up the room. I don't know where it is. I'm watching like a hawk. I'm watching. Ugh. Anyway, uh, we do see. Um, American units are starting to move forward and it looks like uh, the city of Jinju is in trouble. Looking at the tech side here, Grossville is two turns away from getting steel walls while uh, the siege tower is going to take a little time to get there uh, to hit the ancient walls uh, directly into uh, directly into this. Mm. Anyway. I don't think Russia can store everything. Yeah, people, oh, I mean, yeah, sure. But he should get them uh, from an earliest stage of the game, you know, from earliest opportunity. Anyway, uh, Torre de Belém uh, getting built in St. Petersburg. Looks like he's uh, going ahead to build as many wonders as possible. He did also get much pitch over here in the north, uh, giving more agency to one of his um, theater squares. He's uh, still on only on, I would say, only on 237 uh, culture. It is not that close to actually uh, discovering the rock pants, which will probably push him over the edge when it comes to uh, acquiring the necessary tourists to get a win. Uh, still on 8 out of uh, 61, and he's on 154 tourism. Doesn't look like he's growing that fast in the tourism screen um well we do have him uh, getting these art museums he's gonna get more slots for the great works of art now it looks like also india has stopped settling for a long time ago with only two four six seven cities it doesn't look like he got that big inca also did the same with two four six eight uh cities at the moment inca could have had the, all of this land to the north uh, settled we do have uh korea actually trying to get an escape settler what well, is he trying to settle or escape settle i do see another settler coming up from gangju I think that's an escape setter. Uh, we did have uh, Chandra Gupta gaining two diplomatic uh, victory points. Uh, it looks like uh, they uh, are trying to secure this uh, diplo victory on uh, the Indian Empire. With a 9 out of 20, he could uh, try to get over here in the north of Yerevan. Uh, that, uh, how to say, a Statue of Liberty. He does have an amazing amount of chops, actually. Two, four, six, seven, eight chops uh, that could be used uh, in that city center to get the uh, Statue of Liberty. He does need uh, to get uh, one of those uh, harbors uh, and, of course, uh, get the statue next to it. Okay. American units moving in. This siege tower next turn is going to get next to Gangju. The, the walls have not... Uh, that's it. That, that's it for yeah that city is dead that city is dead that that city has got two shot guys that city got two shot the hawacha court across the river is gonna get one shot we do have uh, the line infantry oh my god this is a big move that oh my god bro this these american line infantry units man hard one let me actually clip that because this this looks interesting man getting to two shot a city over here whoa whoa i don't know man gangju that's would let me uh, just uh clip what it is okay there we go Some a link on power over here. Uh, Yang Sun will be uh, one shot, uh, probably. Yeah, 
There's no unit inside of the city center and unfortunately uh, for some reason it doesn't allow me to see the damage. You can see Sangju is in two shots. So I, I'm guessing a young son is going to get two shots as well. Yeah, two shots. Two shots, not one shot. Oh my god, look at the Quirasier course, man. Line infantry course 107. Quirasier's course on the defense 81. He still doesn't have a channel. He had this in Camon for a long time. Unfortunately, couldn't actually get enough uh, uh, projects going. Not enough production to go around. Uh, what's happening here? Is there any attack going? Yes, finally! The Indian units are getting into the borders of uh, the city of Cullen. Uh, and those are going to benefit from the extra plus 5 from Kira Crusade. Nicole just followed. Uh, Kirax Nicole, thank you so much for uh, the follow, uh, sir or ma'am. I'm not sure exactly how uh, to pronounce that, but uh, thank you so much. And I hope uh, you're going to tell me so I don't get confused. Uh, is there any change to Lincoln in uh, BBG? Uh, there was... I believe, I believe there was, but I'm not sure exactly which change was it. Uh, BBG. Let me actually pull up uh, the schematics over here on BBG to actually uh, give you a readout on that. Uh, did they change it in the last one or did they change it? Uh, uh, yeah, love it too. Love it too. Let me actually see. Okay, so no change in the last one. No change in the last patch. Uh, did you get your uh, 65 founder? I did, Psycho I did, I did, I did, I did. Yesterday, it was actually when I was uh, offline. I did manage to uh, get new followers. And uh, bam, 6507 right now. Woohoo, we got there. We got there. Okay, the American Union is starting to march towards the cities of uh, Korea. I'm still uh, trying to figure out exactly what the BBG 5.4.1 is. A Steam Workshop, let me see. Uh, let's uh, watch the full changes over here. I believe uh, there was a file somewhere. Okay, yeah, there we go. Wait, this is not the file I want to see. Why is there the... No, full change log. There we go. Full change log. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, emancipation proclamation, 100% production towards the industrial zone and aqueduct districts, plus two amenities per industrial zone, missing finance description, minus one gold maintenance on all units. Okay. That's what it, uh, it they got. Uh, it still is, uh, exists, just forgettable. Uh, did they, uh, okay, uh, any, let's see, <laughs> Lincoln cannot violate any, uh, promises, he cannot break any pr promises, as he, um, uh, is honest ape, yeah, well, now the cities of, um, Korea did manage to get the steel walls in and he's, he's still trying to defend himself with his uh, watch as American units will need the support help of artillery if they want to keep on pushing through. Uh, we do have um, right now Abraham going for banging and I'm pretty sure he's going to click on steel soon. Uh, we don't have actually steel activated so he can get those artilleries. He should be actually starting to pre-build a lot of those uh, units while he's getting his barracks in. I'm pretty sure uh, he's going to want to get military, uh, military academies as well. Well, it looks like he's going to get a lot of uh, pillages uh, from his opponent anyway and the uh, ipo oh my god ipo going so much negative right now he's getting as many units as he possibly can to go against his opponent this is an all-in attack coming up from him uh, trying to push into uh, the scottish uh, territory is um Kuras here of course even without the crusade ability are doing uh, massive amounts of damage and we do have uh, the field cannons also uh, on the front online from scotland not doing enough on return uh, also aquarius uh, philosophy hello there sir noise uh, did they uh keep domain yes they, they did is the map uh, script placing both teams uh, actually wait there's a there's a file over here give me a second there's a link on the workshop where you can actually get the full change log let me actually uh, there we go share it there there you go that's the full change log um is the map uh, script placing both teams on one side or could they spawn randomly they usually spawn the ram randomly but there is a chance like this one uh, where you could get like a north versus south uh, type of uh, event uh, there is also a mode you can actually uh, choose uh, as a map placement at the beginning of the game east versus west so it does force you but most of the time uh, the players will want a random placement across the map because it's uh, it's actually quite a strategy for them to use um getting um how to say a word uh, um, um, 
a war uh, civilizations against uh, opponents uh, trying to erail them from an early stage of the game uh, trying to have uh, some free simmer uh, in the back line and so on yeah it's just a coincidence at the moment and to be honest uh, i i do have to say this a little reeves uh, kind of made this uh, for themselves as in uh, they did remap the first one they did remap the first one even if they didn't really need to well, we're gonna ask them in the post game chat uh, what did happen over there. What uh, what did they think of this? Why why did they remap? Why did they remap? Um, yeah, hey, glad to have you, bro. Glad to have you. Wait, well, what's going on over here in India's territory? Can they actually upkeep all of this? They don't. Oh my God. It's all. Look at that. The economy of IPO is actually equaling out with the economy of Morty. While Morty has uh, tried to put some pressure on Russia, he could not actually pressure Russia that much. Uh, he maybe got on a pillage or two, but that's about it. Russia did push back and we do have Russia with the ability to upgrade these uh, units. No, the, he still didn't get the, his military science. He didn't get his um, Cossacks. We do need to see if... Um, we're gonna have a bit more economy coming up from Mindblow and Grosspill. While Grosspill is on negative um, economy at the moment, Mindblow is only on 43. Unfortunately, he can't get more, and uh, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on uh, all sides. Uh, he's uh, trying to get bombards going. Oh my God, they're gonna go full negative here. They need to mine the gold. This is a problem, and they're they're starting to get a very very negative economy. While on the other side, we do have uh, such a big economy coming up from Tamar being between two nations trying to trade to him and. Have having a lot of trade routes uh, going to his allies uh, we do have um, also catholicism getting holy waters for the extra healing inside of his territory and russia did manage to get the uh, defender of the faith as his uh, last belief in uh, those cities I do have uh, factories coming around here from uh, Inca and I do see him uh, trying to get those production points up. Uh, he, unfortunately, it doesn't look like he has uh, such a strong economy to uh, upkeep everything his allies uh, need. Uh, well, we do have him with 370 points of production while uh, Abraham, Abraham Lincoln is of 536. We do have uh, Dia Quinn on 559 plus the faith he's making 377. Also good science uh, numbers and good culture numbers. It does look like escape proposal is getting slowly and uh, surely to that victory they just need to uh, they just need to push it through and we're going to see if uh, america is going to be uh, successfully taking over the next korean cities especially now with uh, the steel walls it's going to be much much harder for him and i say this and then we see the line infantry court just doing massive amounts of damage against the uh, sangju over there not taking that much in return and it's going to start to attack into yang san as well that's only 56 uh, defense versus the 70 of uh, sangju oh my god it is happening uh, does the Mar have uh, Reina City? Yes, uh, somewhere. Where is here? Bich Vinta. Big. Is it big or uh, with a uh, chi? I don't know. How is it? Or chi? How do I how do I read this? It doesn't have a T, so I guess in English is not uh, is not with a sh. Uh, the great Gonzo, these line infantry cores are uh, not to uh, trifle, uh, not to be trifled with. Yes, exactly, right? The so strong. Now uh, he didn't even need to put the city under siege. He's just gonna take it, man. He's gonna make it his own. I, I'm telling you, man. He's gonna make chup chup with uh, Korea over here. A very big chup chup. Uh, also in Sasu, uh, I, I did answer that. Two minutes. Okay, we got. We I'm up to speed with the uh, chat. Uh, oh, massive invasion coming up from the Indian Army on uh, on uh, Scotland. It looks like this is a last ditch effort to actually get back into the game, and we're going to need to see if uh, Scotland is going to be uh, strong enough to withstand this attack. We do have uh, Samway in a dark age, and it looks like uh, the moment his cuirassiers are not strong enough uh, against his opponents, especially with uh, India benefiting from that uh, crusade against his cities, would have been amazing if uh, Russia would have sent uh, one or two apostles. He could just buy them this turn, send them, bam, convert the city of Diana and Cullen immediately poof, 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 and uh, deny uh, India an extra plus five against his opponent uh, against his ally over here I don't know why he's not doing this but anyway he might have not had the idea to do this or uh, maybe even uh, Scotland did not uh, request it 
Now we do have uh, Angor Wat uh, finish, uh, finishing up in the city of Tver, giving uh, one extra population point on all of the Russian cities. Uh, I should say on each of the Russian cities. We do have uh, theater square festivals coming up from him, shipyards for the extra production. And looking at what's going on over here, we do have uh, Russia on eight great engineer points at 10. We do have also Albert Einstein as the next great scientist. And uh, we do need to see what's going to happen in the writer, artist and musician. Oh, he's going to get the first musician next turn. Ooh, yay! Beethoven is gonna come over there to get some beats going. No, I'm kidding. You know, you know, it's getting the classical music going. Yeah, uh, anyway. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, sir. Welcome. Wait, is that where uh, the term beats came from? Was it from Beethoven? I, I know it's stupid to ask, but just saying. Uh, anyway, uh, we, do <laughs> we do have the Indian Army starting to uh, break the Scottish defense, and it looks like he's going in. He's going in against the city of Cullen. He's going to need uh, the support help of his uh, bombers to actually take out uh, the city of Cullen. Uh, defenses with uh, steel walls available for uh, Cullen to defend. It looks like, uh, well, India is going to have a hard problem to go against those cities. We do have um, India trying to get more, a few more military engineers. I'm actually surprised uh, he's... Uh, bombards are not getting ready. Where are his bombards? And why is he not attacking? Two more cities have fallen from uh, Korea. It looks like um, America is pushing towards the capital city of Seoul. While we do have the Korean escaped settlers getting very far away from his cities on the west side. Uh, trying to stay alive over here. He's going to need to do the Bee Gees. We do have uh, America also getting uh, next to the city of Seoul with uh, those line infantry corps, and I guess he's still trying to use the siege tower somehow. Uh, okay, I, I guess you know it is what it is. Twitch his own. Uh, we do have uh, this massive army. I think I can't. Well, wait. They, can they upkeep this? They, okay, they they can still upkeep this. Morty can upkeep this at the moment. We still have Russia with the ability to actually upgrade those Cossacks and try to go against um, uh, Inca. He could have done this a long time ago, but he stopped doing it at some point, and I'm actually quite uh, sad we did see this going. Uh, by the looks of it, the, the tourism on uh, Tamar over there, he's getting 126. We do have uh, Peter on 185, and they are uh, overwhelming the defenses here with Dart uh, 13 out of 71. Looks like victory. Well, the computer says victory in 17. Oh, uh, on 13. Don't actually uh, listen to the computer, man. It's not always uh, getting it done. Uh, Jebel Barkan coming up from uh, Vologna. We do have a uh, few Kurasiers uh, getting into the production queues, and uh, Dart can actually use that 651 faith a turn uh, to get um, Cossacks directly bought. I'm actually curious if he's going to do that. Uh, he shouldn't be that far away from getting mobilization if uh, he didn't get it already, uh, so he can get the uh, Kurasi uh, Corsas, um, Cossack army is going against his opponent now we do have a great library coming up from Novgorod uh, and he's he did manage to get the Angor what finished that's going to give him that those extra points of uh, population actually looking at the era score over here uh, we do have a dart on 114 population he's the most populated empire in the game right now on the map that is big that is very big Oh, uh, Kiara, do you need some help to actually uh, get registered on uh, CPL? We do have uh, uh, Indian units going against uh, Cullen over here, putting that city under siege. It still, it still looks like uh, he's going to take a lot of damage on the return. We do need to see how uh, he's going to get this going. Kobe, brilliant. Hello there, sir. This Sejong is very sus. Oh, I mean, he's dying, man. He's not sus. He's dying. He's getting chup chupped over here by America. He's uh, definitely getting chup chupped. Uh, we do have um, uh, Russia is going on the moon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that he's going to reach the moon, but he's definitely going to go uh, higher, stronger, faster. He's going to get that tourism. He's going to get everybody in. 
Now we do have a coal power plant uh, started up from Georgia. He already has a lot of production and uh, quite a bit of faith. Uh, looks like uh, he just wanted to uh, bully a little bit his opponent with his privateers, but didn't actually push through. We do have Egypt with uh, fear cannons. I do see a uh, cuirassier course also coming up over here. And I do also notice we do have... Um, you know, say uh, Georgia, just with a capsule, Egypt might try to push into this, but that's uh, still going to put more, uh, I would say, uh, more pressure on their economy. They just don't have gold. It's just, it's just minus 128 IPO, which I got to give it to him. He's actually successfully uh, taking out the Scottish uh, armies. And now he's uh, going to need to do something about the next uh, series. And uh, I do see artillery corps are coming around from him. Okay, so there's one, two artillery corps uh, that are going to get on the front line. He did get the uh, military engineers to connect the pathways uh, towards the city of Cullen. Cullen and uh, he's going to start working on those uh, city center defenses. Now, there is a possibility for, at some point, Russia to get into the war even though I don't find it uh, that likely at the moment. With uh, Grosby actually taken out of the picture over here, this is uh, going to be a problem for also Inca. He might get hit from uh, two th sides uh, the next part of the game, and Inca's uh, science with, uh, cult uh, and culture is just non-existent at the moment, 137 and 92. That definitely is uh, not enough for the next part of the game. Okay, first Cossacks are starting to uh, get in the series of Tula. Uh, Valentine, hello there, sir. Uh, can you show score? Sure. And let's, uh, yeah, there we go. You can see the score. Uh, the city of Seoul is uh, getting taken out by American Line Infantry Corps. Uh, they, he still has a lot of um, uh, time for the extra plus five on these American units to uh, get their money's worth. Uh, it does look like uh, he's going to need to go against Guangzhou, Chanchon, uh, Gongju, and Gangju, and uh, Jeonju. Oh my god. Why are these so serious? close in pronunciation this must be so confusing like can you imagine you you get to talk to a cab and you say get me to gongju and he then takes you to Guangzhou, not Gongju. <laughs> this is so confusing. Can you imagine it's on the other side of the country? Wait, I didn't want to get here. I have a meeting in like half an hour. I didn't want to get here. Get me back. Get me back. You take a plane and then you say, okay, I want to, uh, I really want to get a plane to Gongju. And instead of Gongju, he sent you to Gongju. And you're like, Phew. <laughs> totally other side uh they had only one idea for town names <laughs> i don't know man yeah uh, does does this mean something in korean maybe it means something like town i don't know you know ju maybe it's town gyeongju gong i don't know maybe maybe i'm pronouncing it pro uh, improper uh, i have improper pronunciation here i'm sorry <laughs> you know, the taxi and the plane thing i said so many times i know right <laughs> <laughs> oh man, man we had a commercial at some point uh, wait uh well you say that but i need an article about family during a football tournament uh that wanted to attend a match in budapest and they ended up in bucharest yeah uh wait i think seoul literally just means capital city okay I mean, yeah yeah i mean you know they're they're efficient okay that makes sense and yeah this this bucharest slash budapest thing is uh confusing to some people as well uh the taxi driver's name uh name the series <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it's a conspiracy to get more right to get more uh cap fares <laughs> i mean uh, uh Honestly, it's uh, about Bucharest over there. Like in, in Romanian, the city name is actually Bucuresti. It, then if you actually compare it to uh, uh, Budapest, in Romanian, it's uh, Budapesta. It's totally different pronunciation. Bucuresti, Budapesta. Bucuresti, Budapesta. Different. <laughs> yes, they start with a B, but they end totally different. And it, uh, But in English, well... I don't know who named uh, Bucharest as Bucharest instead of Bucharest. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, this support my theory that they uh, just don't have any. Uh, maybe for a Korean, it's not that different in pronunciation. Yeah, or maybe it's a, a world of difference. 
Maybe maybe they are so specific on like exact sounds that it's a world of difference. I don't know. It can happen. We do have uh, the artillery getting into the range of the city of Cullen, and they're gonna start uh, uh, culling that city. Uh, let's actually see what's going on. There we go. With the, we do have the first hits in into the uh, steel walls, and it looks like uh, India is uh, meeting a match. Oh my God! Scottish tank corps making an appearance. He's actually gonna get to stomp back the Indian units. He got the signs. He got the course and he got the units. Now we're going to need to see if India is going to manage to keep on pushing forward. Uh, while uh, we do have the first tanks upgraded on the other side of the map, Korea is um, getting stomped over here by the line infantry corps. Uh, the city of Gongju is uh, up next. We do have uh, Chanchon also on the west side, and it looks like Gongju is uh, going to be taken down. Uh, CC in 25 seconds. Oh, okay. Okay. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. What's the tourism like? On Dart, we do have him on a 255 tourism, so he did acquire significantly more, but not in the thousands yet. And we do have him getting a spy in the city of Chan Chan, and he still didn't upgrade his army. They probably did dedicate a lot of gold, so Scotland get his defenses going. And of course, we do have over here America keep on pushing. He's getting resupplies with line infantry, and I do see he's also getting banks, so he can upkeep all of that army. He's at minus 45 gold at 10, getting military engineers to. To, uh, also create the pathways uh, to resupply the uh, army chain over here uh, towards the north i'm actually curious very curious actually if he's gonna go for um yeah, helicopters next or something like that Le oh he's going infantry replaceable parts coming up in one uh -oh. Uh -oh. we do have uh, where is it replaceable parts uh, over here right he's getting infantry is that gg no pause five minutes we gotta pause five minutes okay Pause for five minutes. Yeah, uh, they can't even upgrade India to uh, tanks, no gold. Yeah, yeah. But India was uh, getting it. Uh, he was getting tanks. Yeah, he's three turns away from getting combustion mobilization coming up in three. Uh, he didn't even get a lot of gold from his uh, opponent tiles over here. He did the stomp on the uh, golf course. So then uh, he's going to pillage the gypsum and that's about it. Oh, I guess. Uh, wait, what is, was this? This was a commercial hub. So at least he got the gold from that one. Uh, okay. And I do see Cleopatra is getting some pillages. I don't know where, but he's... Oh, he's pillaging the tiles in Rustavi. Okay. So we do have uh, five minutes of a pause, and we're going to come back uh, after this. Uh, we're going to need to see what they did over there. Uh, five minutes. <laughs> I think they <Dave>, <laughs>
juice, 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 juice. Okay, well, I guess I can uh, turn off the timer now. And uh, I do see uh, one team did put the team plus in. Gonna see what the other team does. We're very close to the Congress, aren't we? We're eight turns. Actually, not even. We're not that close. Kick. You know what I was searching for? Cat cams. <laughs> the, oh my god, there's actually a... Wait a second. There's actually a side cat cams, but this is totally different. Okay, we got uh, both teams putting the team plus in. Okay, uh, first attacks coming up from America going against the um, uh, districts of uh, Chan Chon. He's going to keep on going against that city center. We do have uh, serious men uh, still able with uh, quite a few line infantry. And I do see um, some crossbow and cords are coming to his support. He's splitting his forces up to go against uh, two cities at once. While... Um, at the moment, he's still building up the infrastructure to get uh, the resupplies going. Uh, there is actually, there are quite a few roads that he could use. Um, already the infrastructure was built in the cities of uh, Korea. Uh, he's uh, probably going to need to connect Cleveland and uh, the city of Jinju uh, with his uh, military engineers uh, railroads. So there we go. He's getting railroads everywhere. Now we do have uh, some attacks coming up from uh, Egypt going against Rustavi. That's a city that's uh, too too tough for him to handle. While uh, we do need to see if uh, the Scottish tanks are going to get to push back uh, the Indian units. It does look like, yes, the, the, the tank corps of um, uh, Scotland, actually. Did I say Swedish? Anyway, uh, Scottish uh, tanks. Uh, they're going to push out the cuirassier corps of uh, India, even in uh, crusade cities. Now we still don't have uh, any kind of uh, apostles coming up from India. Uh, from India, from... Russia. Uh, we do have uh, Russia coming up with uh, 255 tourism patterns, 675 um, faith and mobilization coming up in one. And I do see he has uh, been attacked over here in the city as Yaroslav. Like his units are damaged. I don't know from what, but they're damaged. Uh, we do need to see if he's going to buy out a few more. He does have a considerable amount of faith in the bank, but I'm pretty sure he's uh, going to want to use that into uh, rock pants. If he does manage to rock pants, the cities of... Um, uh, Georgia, he's going to get a lot of uh, wonders to play in, not to mention uh, districts that he can uh, use, uh, a nice diversity of uh, districts. Uh, he's also getting his uh, factories going with coal power plants coming up from uh, St. Petersburg. I do see he's getting a neighborhood in Novgorod for a little bit of uh, extra housing, even though I don't think housing is the problem for that district. Uh, we do have him uh, harbors uh, coming up in Voronets, and I'm pretty sure this is for the shopping mall. He's going to try to build a, ship, a shopping mall here. Uh, but anyway, it's going to take a while. He's only on 335 culture. It's not that big of a culture, if you think of it, to go to the late game uh, technologies. You know, with, um, civics, I mean. We do have a frigate also available for uh, Georgia to use. Unfortunately, the frigate, if it gets into the range of the Bombard, the Bombard, I'm pretty sure, can make quick work of it. Uh, we uh, do also need to see how the economy is going to hold up. Uh, we do have uh, Morty jumping up to 227 gold, actually able to um, upkeep uh, his uh, allies as much as possible. We do have uh, Campus Research Grants coming up from him and getting more banks so he can generate more gold. Uh, we do have him actually using now Capac Nance uh, in the city of Machu. He probably... Uh, wanted to um 
uh, switch a lot of these uh, traders uh, pathways uh, to other cities so they can actually get reset and uh, sent uh, through Capagnas instead of the uh, normal ways that he was using over here between Madonna and Machu's um, uh, pathways. We will have the first uh, also infantry courts uh, starting to get into the front lines over here. This is uh, going to help out America quite a bit uh, to do the final damage against his opponent and then he's going to push on forward towards Inca. Uh, this is going to be the major problem for, um, uh, for the opposing team. Uh, it's not Korea. They need to worry about its Inca. That is their supply of gold. And uh, this is very surprising that um, Russia did not want to push into his opponent earlier. We do have uh, the city of Cullen still under siege and it looks like uh, the Indian units are uh, making headway over there. Oh my god, oh my, oh my god, that was such a sacrifice coming up from uh, India. They did manage to upgrade one of the tank wars of India and uh, probably that city is going to be doomed. Uh, we do have... Uh, 89 strength in that city center and it looks like uh, Scotland is uh, a bit wary of uh, just sending the tanks uh, to the front line. He's gonna get a few more and uh, he's hard building as many as he can from his initial cities but he doesn't have uh, the uh, the time to build up cores. He's gonna need to core them on the way towards the front line. Now we do have uh, Mont Saint Michel coming up from uh, Tula uh, and uh, this is the one that, that gives you one extra culture on all of these uh, floodable terrain tiles if I'm not mistaken. Uh, also Terracotta becoming from Tver, there is a possibility for uh, Russia to just uh, buy an army if he needs to, while he's sending a few of these uh, Cossack Corps to the front line. If uh, they get out of the range of uh, the borders, they're not as strong as you might think. In the borders, they're fairly strong. 89 strength with an extra plus 5 uh, coming up on their side. Okay, we got aerodromes coming up from Moanuku. And uh, it looks like America still needs to upgrade uh, quite a few line infantry uh, to keep on going against uh, the cities of Korea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, coal power plants are getting established in uh, Russia cities. Uh, more of these uh, theater squares coming up from uh, his uh, fringe cities on the west side. Uh, getting those amphitheaters for uh, more great works, uh, great work slots, not to mention acquiring the points in. Uh, he definitely needs to get a lot more of these musician points. Right now he's on five great musician points a turn and we're turn 88. Uh, yeah, well, it looks like he didn't actually uh, min max this properly. Right? I'm pretty sure he could have gotten a lot more tourism and culture at this point of the game 264 tourism a turn at the moment we got some uh, attacks going on here looks like uh, scotland still tries to push against uh what tries to push tries to get rid of the indian uh, army attacking into his city i think the city of cullen is dead whatever he does here Let's see, yeah, city of Cullen is dead. Dead! Oh, he needs to move this. He needs to move the tank. If he doesn't move the tank, he's gonna lose the tank. Tanky tank. Move the tank. Why is he... Okay. Yeah, he lost the tank. Kick. That's a waste of production. And now uh, I do have to point out that India did lose his uh, plus 5 against his opponent and uh, well these uh, tanks just got a, a lot stronger uh, because uh, whenever you're going to take a city that is converted to your religion, well it's not converted anymore but whenever you're going to do this and you have crusade in there, you're just going to lose it. Uh, we did have actually a Georgian apostle coming up on the rescue, finally he's getting to convert back the cities of Dandi and Cullen uh, to another religion so he denies India the opportunity to get uh, the crusade ability over him. Let's see over here. Egypt attack has been uh, nullified. We do have him trying to get more banks for that extra gold. While IPO is on mi uh, minus 192 gold a turn. We do have mind blow on 128 and Morty is 223. Varia Quinn did uh, choose to go for reform the coinage, uh, golden age. And he has uh, the most science in the game with uh, the most culture. In, no, not most culture, but very close to the most culture. 318. Uh, Dart is on a zero gold a turn while he is on a 713 faith. Oh my god, man. 713. 114 uh, 13 faith that's a lot of faith per turn now he also dart did manage to uh, plug the choke over here so india cannot uh, pass through and we do have him uh, finishing up more of these amphitheaters getting the wonders in for that extra tourism and of course uh, the slots in i would have uh, man uh, to be honest cossacks attacking to chan chan would have uh, finished the game a long time ago a long time ago. Uh, anyway, we do have uh, Chancho getting attacked. It looks like uh, America is uh, making headway over here with his infantry 
infantry line, line infantry and infantries uh, against those city centers. Guangzhou did get put under siege and it looks like uh, now he's going to start attacking. Now we do have uh, still walls uh, helping him, but uh, America does want to pillage as many tiles as possible before he actually gets the attack against that city center. So he reaps the benefits of his uh, opponent's lands as well as the cities. Now the American military engineers are moving forward with um, the railroads building up to the capital city of um, uh, Korea while he's going to get to wrap around and build the pathways uh, directly towards the Incan defenses. Why am I getting pinged? One sec. Yeah, it is what it is. Some uh, playground stuff. Uh, is Georgia going for battleships? Ideology coming up in one, military science in one. Yeah, he's, he's slowly getting there. Uh, did he manage to get... Uh, Coal? Yes, he did. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, he did also finish Forbidden City at some point in Tbilisi. We didn't see this. Okay, so uh, Scotland is actually getting to push back 116 against 118 Indian tanks. We do have uh, quite a few artilleries being deployed over here from India. Um, they're barely scratching the tanks, if uh, I might say so. Uh, we do have um, also Russia using his units to um, contain India between the mountains over here. And uh, I do see some uh, Scottish field cannons are uh, starting to shoot and get some promotions off uh, attacking into these Indian troops. We do have uh, more tanks uh, pitting from uh, the defenses of, from the city of Scotland to go on the defense and the beef up that um, uh, line that he needs to keep on going. Looks like the city of Cullen is uh, not held properly with uh, rebelling in five in four tens. There's no um, governor going into that city center to help it uh, keep the loyalty in. And uh, well, it looks like um, and the tanks uh, can actually easily take it back. He doesn't want to do that though. He doesn't want to give a chance uh, to. Um, uh, first of all lose more population and second of all uh, allow these artilleries to just take it down another time and uh, lose the city another time Oxford, Oxford University coming up from serious man that's actually wait that's America right yeah oh my god two cities are gonna be taken down next time or is this uh, the infantry corps gonna take down Chon Chon he has uh, two infantry over here that could attack into Chon Chon hey no Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Uh, we got uh, El Bag Lee getting a uh, tier one gift, and we got Aquarius uh, Philosophy. Good evening, sir. And thank you. Uh, look at that. Welcome to the Dreamers. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nerf. How are you doing, sir? How have you been? Also, uh, Zibi Jack um, does the researching still automatically give walls to your cities? Yes, they do. Uh, they do give uh, 300 uh, steel wall cities, uh, 300 strength. Ooh, fortification health. Uh, goodness gracious, America just steamrolled Korea. Yes, he, they did. They did. And so quickly, so quickly. I mean, this this biplane is basically useless. 75 strength against the infantry, 112 on the defense. Woohoo! Thank Plus you. Plus one YouTube. Thank you so much, Nuf. Much appreciated, sir. For the 20 months. Thank you so much. We do have a city over here coming up from Russia on uh, the coast, uh, Bryansk, uh, by the looks of it. Uh, and uh, it does seem like uh, he's going to be placed uh, to the north of Rostov. Uh, I do also notice he could actually get some uh, national parks at some point. Uh, pretty good wonder to get that going. And next to Upsun or Halo, he does have... Um, let me actually take a look over here. 273 strength. And I'm, we're probably going to see uh, the cities of uh, Guangzhou also being taken down at the same time as Guangzhou and Chonchon. Um, ludicrous man also welcome back City situation seems dire yeah well m mistakes happen you know uh, yeah they got distracted yeah it's it's not great it's not going great man it's not going great senior testa also hello there sir surprise no ff 
yet uh, as in yeah well one city went down over here america is uh, still pillaging the city of going to by the looks of it he's gonna want to rip all the gold he can from his opponent's cities uh, while uh, i do see a dart over here is just banking on that uh, faith uh, with uh, 3500 we do have uh, scotland getting with those tanks on the front line able to uh, keep uh, india from pushing into his uh, city some more um, we do have india actually trying to get into the city of uh, dandy with a few of these cuirassiers uh, to try to pillage the tiles and at the same time uh, stop his um, stop his opponent from uh, getting the defense going i do see uh, scottish tanks uh, do get the waypoints uh, to the west of dandy so they do stop uh, these indian cores uh, pushing through now uh, let's see well, what's going on over here he'll stab uh, for the queen 664 production we got the serious man on 680 for uh, Mort is the only one with uh, 610 production coming up on Pakachuti, but unfortunately for him, he just doesn't have a lot of science and culture. Only on 183 and 107, 224 gold per turn. He did, um, well, he did uh, uh, manage to finish Chicken Itza, and he was forced by his allies to actually get as much gold as possible so he can actually um, upkeep his allies' needs. That's one thing that honestly I was um, a bit surprised from the beginning. Uh, they did rely a bit too much on uh, possible trade routes uh, between their empires rather than uh, getting the gold uh, through their civilizations. Uh, and uh, it looks like, well, their opponents actually managed to uh, get a, a lot more gold per turn than uh, they did. Uh, Big C, Vadia Queen. Yeah, uh, King. Yes, Vadia King. Yes. Queen. I did say first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we do have Oxford University finishing up in uh, Washington. Next turn, we do have research labs coming up from him. Looks like he's uh, 239 science at the moment with 120 culture. He just took another city from um, uh, Korea. And uh, we will need to see him uh, push towards Guangzhou over here a little bit stronger. Uh, with infantry courts uh, showing up on the front line, uh, Guangzhou seems like it's in dire straits. He's going to get to attack it from multiple sides and probably going to take it down. These um, watches uh, are barely scratching the infantry court strength while I do see the infantry corps uh, one shotting these korean units uh the tamar experiment is working yeah it looks like okay okay there we go i think the indian attack just got uh, nullified by the looks of it he come pushing uh, through the tanks even with his own tanks he has a significant problem attacking into uh, the units of his opponents well tanks against tanks tank cores against tank cores tanks against tanks yeah doesn't happen it's not happening uh cossack army is showing up okay uh for the record mar is favorite and most played uh, civ okay I mean, yeah, look at that. He did get uh, beautifully done over here. Not bad. We do have him also getting a Potala Palace and we're four turns away from the next uh, World Congress. While, of course, we're three turns away from actually finishing up this um, era. It looks like uh, Georgia is building up uh, his uh, battleship count over here with the uh, frigate Armada to the north. Uh, two frigate possible Armadas actually to the north. Uh, his uh, military science in three turns. To, uh, fascism coming up in two turns. He's going to get to attack uh, Cess, Thieves and Swanet uh, from the coast over here with uh, <clears throat> the three range that those uh, battleships are going to allow him to get. Uh, we do have Dart also jumping up. Oh, well, jumping up. He's getting 283 tourism per turn. Uh, Faith is on uh, 700, 699.5. We do have him uh, getting aquariums, uh, ferris wheels. And uh, I did notice uh, he did build up that... Um neighborhood over here to the west of Novgorod it looks like he's uh, preferring to get uh, the coal power plants going before he's actually gonna get anything else uh, like uh, shopping mall shopping shop, shop mall three turns away from getting raw pants uh, cold war coming up in three turns he's uh, with 1092 uh, at the moment so that's gonna be 95 to discover those rock pants and probably we're gonna be talking about another 10 turns under the, until they're actually gonna get uh, effective enough uh, in his ally cities 
At the moment in the culture screen, Varia Queen is on uh, 15 out of 81. We got Dart on 25 out of 81 uh, domestics over there to acquire. And uh, of course, the defender IPO has been fighting quite a bit of time. He did lose a decent amount of uh, culture per turn from uh, losing his uh, pen brush and voice. Of course, no more pen brush and voice abilities from him. Uh, he does have 315 production with 281 uh, face per turn, while Siwi has been uh, successfully defending his opponent here. For quite some time now. But IPO is not letting go. He's not letting go of Scotland. As uh, goal for uh, Rock Pants in three times. Yes. 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 Uh, Scotland needs to move uh, two tanks and he won't get pushed till nukes. Yes, he does. But he needs to get the tanks fast soon. Yeah, there we go. He's actually going to shift enter the tank on the, the commercials over there. And so we do have uh, Scottish Cavs coming up on the front line. Uh, Scotland is one turn away from getting his uh, helicopter synthetic materials so finishing up in one turn. He did get mobilization and I do see uh, Georgian biplanes also starting to get um, over here on the east. Uh, they will get to shoot uh, freely the Egyptian uh, units. He doesn't look like Egypt at the moment uh, can actually put up a defense against this. He does have uh, steel walls and uh, he does have the availability of uh, building up those um, anti-air guns. Uh, they're just so expensive to build in production. Uh, we do have... Uh, also Guangzhou getting attacked over here and probably last turn it looks like um, no this turn might have been as well uh, infantry uh, did expand their attacks while well, we do have a single line infantry available that uh, I think uh, is not moving yeah he has a um, no, heal in front of him so he's not moving American units are moving towards uh, Gyeongju, even if uh, they're going to get in range of that biplane. They don't care that much about the strength of that biplane. Uh, they're also getting into the water, so they can uh, disembark next to the uh, south of uh, the city of Gyeongju. Um, I do see he did manage to army up a few units. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Army, infantry armies. 121 strength. Infantry armies, guys. He's one-shotting steel, well, almost one-shotting steel walls over here. But to be, f to be fair, these are 56 uh, defense strength series. He never actually got um, uh, higher. Yeah, Scotland needs to... Okay, I, I did read that. And it does look like he did stop it. Uh, we do have uh, in the city of Cullen also... Um, by looks like they're rebelling in two turns and it doesn't look like uh, India can do much about it. We do have uh, military engineers uh, doing their best to actually create the pathways for these uh, Indian tanks to move about uh, freely. Uh, they're still struggling to get everything going. Uh, looks like uh, still there's a tank in danger over here. Let's say we tanks on the east side. Uh, this one on the gypsum tile is actually able to be... Uh, well, India can actually attack into it from three tiles. A bit of a problem. Just a tiny bit problem. Oh my god, please don't. Oh my god, don't tell me he actually got. Uh, he fortified it. Oh no, he fortified it. Oh, that's a problem. Like, whenever you're gonna fortify a unit like this, unfortunately, uh, especially if uh, your opponent will uh, push you with heavy calves and uh, will uh, get the charge promotion, which gives him a plus 10 against you, you're just gonna shoot yourself in the foot. And that's uh, basically what's happening over here. This, uh, Scot this uh, Scottish tank is fortified. So uh, this tank that does have the charge promotion, the plus 10 combat strength versus fortified defender, is getting uh, that plus 10 freely. You, ju you just need to wake up the unit and uh, keep it. Or, I mean, you know, uh, army it up or something. Do something with it. Yeah, it's good. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Probably uh, this city is going to be taken out. It looks like America still wants to get the last pillages going. Uh, he does have uh, a library and the district to pillage and then uh, he can just take over Gwangju. These uh, crossbow on court are just uh, slowly nibbling away at the uh, city's defense. While we do have uh, the American infantry corps uh, managing to push through the defenses of Korea, it does look like uh, Inca is going to uh, look to... Um, 
uh, plug that chokes with the biplanes so he doesn't allow his uh, opponent america to get in with those infantries but now he's going to be forced to defend the northeast as well as the southwest oh finally russian cossacks are getting into the meat of the uh, incan empire they're going to start uh, pillaging his opponent's uh, tiles while yes he might actually take over a chan chan at some point if he does have uh, more cossacks to use we do have a uh, dart also with uh, let me see did he get did he get or did he not get? He switched conservation. He didn't actually get... Uh... Oh, he's buying uh, those these rogue pants directly in Bryansk. Okay, and the Rostov. So he's getting them as quick, as uh, close as possible to the me main series that he wants to play them in. Not bad. Uh, smart. Smart play. Smart play. He prepared the infrastructure so early on. Uh, and that is also gonna get steam power in two. No, uh, he should get uh, right after steam power. He should get um, flight uh, radio for the broadcast centers. This is gonna be a massive um, spike in tourism after he's gonna get all of those musics in. He's uh, 368 right now, and slowly uh, starting to acquire those. Um, well, slowly. He's uh, getting these uh, faster and faster. The 26 out of 83. There's uh, nobody defending at this point. Oh, I need to put the clip in. Yeah. Let me put the clip in my uh, Discord really quickly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Where's the clip? Clip channel. Clip it. Okay, there we go. Oh, actually, the military engineers did manage to successfully build that railroad over here. He just needs... Uh, no, it's fine. Actually, he got all of the tiles. Um, I was thinking, why is this not connecting to this one? But it looks like it's just a graphical glitch. Oh, there we go. 32 out of 83. It's getting closer with 1095. And this is pre rock band. We do have a few rock bands that need their names and need their promotions over here. And uh, of course, every time he's just going to keep on buying uh, two, at, uh, two at a time. Has uh, 4,500 faith to use. Oh my god, never mind. He actually bought a lot more. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five rock bands have been bought. Now we do have uh, Russia also. Well, uh, going into the main series of. Um, his opponent of uh, Inca and uh, he's gonna start pillaging these tiles uh, yes Inca is gonna get the ancient walls uh, this turn and uh, Chan Chan might survive well will survive not might uh, we do need to see if uh, Russia is gonna manage to uh, get enough pillages and uh, keep uh, Inca from doing any kind of defense over here uh, in the eel stab Inca is on 182 gold we do have mind blow also on 191 looks like IPO did drop down to 95 uh, minus 95 I mean he keeps on going uh, to attack uh, his opponent's cities. Uh, looks like Cullen did get actually stabilized over here. Did we jump? Yeah, we just jumped into the next era. So um, Scotland is not in a golden age anymore. Uh, we do have normal age for him. Oh no, actually he is in. Uh, he was dark age. They were both dark age. I think IPO is in, in heroic and that's why he's getting a lot more loyalty in uh, the city of Cullen. So he's going to get to keep that city. We do have uh, Scottish helicopters getting upgraded here. And uh, in one minute, we're probably going to have a pause um, for the world congress and we're going to need to see what's up afterwards now, america is going to get uh, to push uh, the city of gongju and uh, he's arming up as many of these infantry as possible uh, he does still have quite a few cities to take out from korea now we do need to see also if uh, there's going to be a possibility for a diplomatic victory here we've got uh, nine out of 24 uh, chandra gupta at the moment but it looks like he has been so busy he just didn't have the time to set up uh, his diplomatic victory and what is it oh another wave check this out this is the second wave of rope and so two four five six seven and he's gonna probably buy another wave over here from these cities moscow Kras, uh krasnoyarsk and nizni nizini nizni novgorod 
There we go. Another wave. One, two, three. A lot of rogue bands are gonna play. I'm actually surprised the Varia Queen is not giving him uh, the great musician works, but I guess uh, he doesn't have any more slots or something. Yeah, I guess that's the problem. No more slots. <clears throat> It is what it is. Uh, main series of uh, India. He's building as many of these uh, tanks as possible. And Tank Army is uh, coming up on the production lines. He's getting them onto the front line. And uh, yes, he's doing quite a bit of damage with them. Uh, let me minus uh, the Congress here. And we're going to need to see what's happening. Minus gold. Uh, minus uh, Buddhism. And minus something. Two minutes and we're going to come back. Oh, I'm late. I'm late. No, I thought this uh, actually. Oh my god, it's gonna take long. It is what it is. Anyway, now uh, we do have. Uh, let's take a look at the Congress over here. Oh no, I'm not late. Oh, never mind. I'm not late. I thought uh, this was a turn that happened. Kick. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay, so Russia is getting in, starting to pillage the protection of uh, his opponent and uh, trying to do as much uh, damage as possible to the economy of his uh, opponent. Uh, the big thing is, uh, this is where the economy stands and it does look like uh, Inca uh, does uh, well, does not uh, protect this properly. We do have uh, more Indian tanks uh, appearing over there. And, uh, uh, city of Gongju has been taken over by American units and we do have uh, those uh, infantry corps moving towards Jonju, which is being protected by pipelines. Um, it looks like uh, there's also an ability for these biplanes to turn into fighters. While uh, Inca, I think, does have a few aluminium tiles. I didn't. Uh, yeah, he does have at least one, so it's fine. He's gonna get to upgrade those uh, those planes. Only one. Oh, that's a bit of an issue. That is a bit underwhelming. He's gonna need to get the airports in uh, to his um, aerodromes, and that's gonna take a long time to build them. 
Good thing is he does have a lot of production, 662, not to be trifled with. Uh, we do uh, need to see also how the rock pants uh, are going to start to play. We do have uh, something something over here, uh, Space Rock, that's uh, for spaceports and campuses. And uh, it, of course he does have uh, a campus over there to play in. It's not a splendid one, I wouldn't really recommend playing there. But on the Wonders, on the Harbors on, and, and so on and so forth, he can definitely play in. We do have uh, also Statue of Liberty getting uh, built in six tens from Zugdini. And uh, I do not see a I mean, uh, engineer, I mean, one of these uh, production ones uh, getting there. And yeah, there we go. He's moving to uh, play. And we do have uh, in the tech side radio coming up in two turns from Dart, conservation also coming up in one turn. And IPO is calling out the GG. We do no have Ledu Reeves uh, conceding the game to escape puzzle. It looks like this game Excuse they managed to the escape into victory. Aha, uh -huh, they did it. We don't need to see what they're going to say in the post-game chat. Very good moves coming up from Lincoln to stomp their opponents. Very good moves um, uh, by uh, Scotland to also defend against uh, whatever was coming against him. Uh, with From India, he did have to withstand a lot of attacks. Lost one city, but that was it. He managed to uh, withstand the upcoming attacks from his opponent. Russia was pushing the culture victory through. And we did have the first place of these, of these uh, rock bands uh, starting to um, uh, get into the cities of... Uh, his ally of Georgia uh, to get those uh, extra tourism points that he desperately needed. 33 out of 84 points. Game was considered the 96. Let's actually take a look if uh, they're going to join us in the post game chat to give us a readout of uh, what happened. If not, it is what it is. I'm going to move to uh, one of the post game channels and uh, see if uh, they're going to appear here. GG. Well played. We'll see. I'm I'm very curious about their um, first of all civilization composition. It, it did look like it worked out fine. Let's see, is he getting in? No? Okay, well. <clears throat> oh, bonsoir. Uh, give me a second. Oh. Are you? Okay, there we go. Hard game. Hard game, Bill Dozer. Yeah, it's really hard game. I, I gotta say, uh, your economy over there was uh, in shambles yes. for a long time, man. For a long time. Yes, very. And uh, I don't know what I have to do to uh, to have a best play. I think uh, general on my push watcha, but uh, I don't have a really good land. I don't have uh, any chop. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, it was hard. But uh, to be honest, I was a bit surprised uh, you remapped the first one. That's, uh, I think, the first question I want to ask. Why did you remap the first map, man? You, you had, like, coastal trade routes. You had good uh, uh, defensive capabilities. I, I don't know. It didn't look like you needed to remap. Yeah, as for the trade uh, coastal, I think we don't have to remap this. But we, uh, we remap it because we want to have uh, Chandra more in the another player not in the center of us oh okay but yes uh, i think yeah, uh, and we all it's best and we thought that we could have a little bit better in general okay, yeah. okay. well this time russia was just perfect placement over there very far away you did have like uh, very hard land to go through couldn't push into your opponents early on Yeah, unfortunate. I guess unfortunate. Um, I was yeah. a bit surprised about uh, the team composition. You only wanted Egypt to get the gold. I, I, Inca, I guess, but he sacrificed so much to actually get the gold. Well, Inca with the mountain tunnel, it's pretty good gold early on, right? Because it's already yeah. the max out uh, tree route stuff. So that was mainly the, the idea. Okay. And we we think he scaled pretty good. Uh, 
maybe just some like he didn't have any river to put his like uh how do you call that in english terrace um uh, the terrace farms and the aquas. yeah well he did have some he did have yeah some he did have some but the yeah. river was pretty far like the one production is kind of huge like aqueducts you get plus two from aqueducts yeah, but plus one for a river, right? Yeah. I guess some meat maxing uh, here and there. But yeah, I mean, hard game, hard game. Yep. Yeah. Did you want to Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Bon soir. Yeah. Bye bye. Bon soir. So uh, we heard a little bit from one side, as you've seen, uh, Varia Quinn uh, did say that uh, they're not that good uh, when it comes to uh, speaking English, then maybe they can write English or use Google Translate to actually get their um, uh, thoughts across, but when uh, speaking English, it's a little bit different. Um, we, we did hear also why uh, they did remap the first one on uh, um, um, Le Du Reeves. Uh, they did think uh, they're going to get a little bit better land and they didn't want Chandra Gupta in the back line between them. Uh, so uh, that was uh, something they were uh, trying uh, to focus on. Um, thank you so much for everything. Uh, much and GG well played, uh, Vadim. We did have um, uh, also uh, uh, closing and uh, G uh, Heinick Dave uh, picking up those GG. Uh, oh, yeah, GG well played indeed. I do have to say um, uh, thank you so much for everything. Much appreciated for the subs. Much appreciated for also the follows. I do hope uh, you're going to enjoy your time with me. Also tomorrow we will have Forever Young go against the 12 plus in the first game um, uh, of that series in the CWC playoffs season 8. Uh, we will also have a quite a busy weekend over there. We're still waiting for all of the cast to be um, assigned and of course we're going to, you're going to have uh, updated information on the CWC website. Use um, uh, exclamation mark CWC or um, um, no, how to say uh, just join civ6worldcup.com. Uh, where's the div, div channel? It's uh, here. It's under uh, CPL Civ Premier League over here. Yeah, see you tomorrow. And thank you so much for everything. Much appreciated for everything. Also, if you're coming up from YouTube, don't forget to th throw this a thumbs up if you did enjoy the content. I also hope uh, you're going to leave a comment down below. And of course, um, uh, join me on the live stream on twitch.tv slash on uh, If you... Um, <laughs> I would say um, uh, subscribe to the channel so you do get uh, all of the notifications uh, on YouTube over there. And I do hope um, uh, if you are interested in my schedule, you're going to join the Discord so you can see all of the updated information over there uh, in my uh, Discord uh, server. You actually have uh, two channels, uh, upcoming games and on-spot TV streams. Upcoming games will give you a readout uh, of per weekly games and then on-spot TV streams, all, uh, always the next game, the next game, the next game, the next game. I'm updating that as soon as I uh, finish the stream i do try to update uh, that one um uh oh morty uh, oh no uh, oh oh i'm sorry i don't think it's visible to you i'm sorry i'm sorry i could have uh, grabbed you but i think we uh, finished sorry man um okay so i think that's about it let's wrap this up and uh we're, i'm gonna take a look uh, who i can uh, send you to in the meantime who's actually streaming right now and uh hope uh, you have some fun with uh, some civilization 6 gaming gg well played and uh have a good evening bye bye, -bye.